when I was born, my the my force like I was unsuccessfully circumcised. I must warn you, I am kind of big down there. Can you try to tell me that my mother has got the hots for me? Precisely. How thick is that? I got something coming up. Big. Some kind of big. I don't big. know how to put this, but big. kind of a big deal. Also, like when Kyle checks the levels, he has no idea. Mm-hmm. He has no idea what he's doing. He's going to make a lot it's of really. He's going <laughs> <Yeah. he's gonna laughs> to do a lot of reassuring faces like that. Kyle just went and pressed record and went, saw what happened and went, yeah, sure. Hey, yeah. <laughs> what, yeah, what, I wish, what I wish is the truth is that he just saw you in the hall like just now and he was like, quick, I need, <laughs> I need, somebody. <laughs> I need a guy. Can you press record and laugh at my jokes just for a little bit, dude? And can we make fun of you? Can, can we can we exploit things about you? Please? Are you bald? Are you <laughs> You're clearly fat, but are you bald? <laughs> and stupid. Stupid helps too. <laughs> None of those things are true, dude. You're a gorgeous, handsome, uh, cool guy, but I you like are—you you could lose I a little like weight. You a lot. Yeah, isn't like it, sweetie? Lot. Are you vaping already, dude? That's what I'm <laughs> nervous about—is it's already red. Oh no! Oh, dude. you don't know if you have enough vape to get through the pod. Oh. Where's my? Do you have an extra? He's I freaking have another out. Vape. <laughs> no, it's fine. We'll, we'll pause. Uh, and I have get another in a vape bit. in my bag. Uh, this fucking. Uh, Street, oh, rat. <laughs> Street rat is what oh, I was going for. Oh, There's okay. nothing. Oh, wasn't we even, what were you thinking, dude? Okay. It's, uh, it sounded like you were about to say the C word. I was trying to say street rat, okay? okay. Uh, which I would never call you a slur, but you are gross. We were outside. <laughs> never again, right? <laughs> never again. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Not after Turn that off the time. fucking, I'm going to land at this guy. But uh, <laughs> we were outside, and he was smoking a cigarette. And then he got halfway through it, and he put it out, and he put it in his purse and brought it inside like a monster, dude. You have half no, a cigarette. None of that is in true. Your, did you hear all the embarrassing things? It's Not it. only did he put it in his, he brought it with him. He put it in his fucking purse that he brought brought along with him as well. <laughs> See, I wish that was the truth, but I actually saw him judging me, and I threw it away. Because I was scared. Yeah. I Did saw, you but realize? He put scared. it in there. And he now I, I you, feel like spineless. You let yeah. Sam Landers make you feel bad about yourself? With, with a look, you didn't even say anything. You just wow. looked at me and well, I shriveled. Well, I kind of, I Where kind do you of find have an air of excellence that people, like when, they, when, they, when, they, <laughs> when they're around me, they kind of are like, oh my God, I got to change my whole life because this guy exists. That le- peak human exists. I didn't even know that. You know. That's, <laughs> are you nervous? Yeah, I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> What? Every, Fuck every, you. Why? every, like, every moment of his life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? I mean, just like, yeah. The anxiety is through the roof at all times, dude. Th- that's why I had this like fun, bubbly personality. Yeah, we started. Oh, okay. You didn't notice we started? No. You didn't realize I'm in uh, pod mode yeah, right yeah, now? I didn't realize you guys don't is do that like why you're three, not bringing two? it right now? Yeah, that- I'm, I'm not. <laughs> and and, and uh, spoiler alert, I'm probably not going to. <laughs> <laughs> when I asked him to be on the podcast, he just goes, yeah, I'm bad on podcasts, though. That was the first yeah. thing he said. Oh, that's not true. I've seen yeah. you on podcasts. I cruise on 70% at all times, dude. Yeah, that's, what, that's all. I, yeah. I've got like 150%. That's a vibe, though. Yeah. That is a that's a vibe that I think people respect. You know? you know, he resents his cool vibe. It is kind of annoying when everybody brings you up as the cool guy. You know, and it's like, dude, uh, what it's about so annoying to be cool? Yeah. Like, no, 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 no. It really is. Okay, because it is. It is. Woe is me. Yeah, I was going to say about this, top, but this dude. is this is all a facade, dude. When I'm at yeah. home, I'm a completely different person. Yeah, he's a fat, unfunny yeah, dork. Do you, do you, fat, exactly, dude. <laughs> Do you change all your clothes and demeanor? And well, yeah, I definitely dress worse. And I grew up the first seven years of my life. All I watched was Ace Ventura: Pet Detective. So <laughs> that's that's, all? that's like what I do. Yeah. Can no, you imagine if that was no his vibe? Sesame Street? No, no, no. no Arthur. Dude, just Ace Ventura: Pet Detective. We were newly immigrants, and when you're a new immigrant in, in a in a foreign country, you have one movie. <laughs> you have one movie and you trade it with all the other foreigners in your building and the, they were all uh, this Jim isn't Harry true I, I don't believe this is a myth you tell white people this is I, don't not, think, I, I don't think this it's is it's not true. that far from the truth okay like the first five movies I've ever watched in order are Ace Ventura Pet Detective nice uh, Bruce Almighty great Dude, movie Jim Carrey The Mask which was like my favorite movie up until like last year yeah, well, your parents are just huge Jim Carrey fans. Yeah, was it you? Or no, was it, it was people parents? in the building. And then I and then I watched Hellboy. I watched Hellboy. <laughs> just like just hard left turn. Yeah. <laughs> These are are not only the first like four movies I saw in America. I think they were like the first five movies I've seen in my life. Is this like when your consciousness turned on? Yeah, I think That's so. That's like your earliest memories is watching Ace Ventura: Pet Detective. The earliest movie I in ever bed watched with your parents. I watched <laughs> Harry Potter. 
in, in the, what is the first one? Philosopher, Sorcerer's Stone, Sorcerer Stone yeah. in theaters. Philosophers, if you're pretentious. Yeah, and I cried the whole time because it was scary. You didn't want to slip in this like a... This is the least scary Harry Potter. Oh, dude, I, cry, I cried in the front row, dude. That's when, what's up, dude. When Voldemort is on the back of that guy's head, I remember when I was watching the movie with Jack McPherson, and I was <laughs> I was closing my eyes with my hands, and I was going, and he's going, look, it's not scary! Like, it, that loud. And, like, and I remember this loud, this loud, at like seven years old, going, no! Like, I just was so ashamed. <laughs> I was I was a very fearful kid. Dude, and, 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 Still am. You can and think about me. this, okay? Seeing Voldemort appear on that guy's head after having not seen a movie ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first movie. Yeah. And there's a man there's a, yeah, face, there's a face that of an the evil first. wizard on a man's head. Like you didn't understand that there's special effects and stuff. No, you were dude. just like, this is like, real. They yeah. found a man with a man in his head yeah. and they put him on <laughs> they camera. Found a man with a man in his head. All the yeah. other stuff was fine. It was like, yeah, he's walking through walls and like flying on brooms, but the man with a man on his head. Oh, that's yeah. That's what got you. Did you guys not read the book? No. No, I don't well, read. Well, I know you didn't, but you didn't? <laughs> no, I didn't even know they made movies from books. I, kn- I, I mean, knew Apparently, so you didn't little. know they made movies. Yeah, like, you, I did, no, yeah. I knew they made movies. He said he made those never, five movies. You were like, the, the, these you were are like, the five <laughs> movies, and we in the world <laughs> trades them, and, you know. The, T- this was like this French is. people in the 1800s watching that, like, vi- the film of the train coming at them, and, and they, they were like, like, oh, shit. <laughs> exactly, dude. Yeah, I wish I could go back to those virgin eyes, because now everything doesn't, nothing does it for me anymore, yeah. you know? <laughs> It really doesn't. Yeah, it's like nothing it's like, will make me feel the way Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone made me feel. Just chasing yeah. that high, yeah, dude. dude. That, that was movie true terror. rocked so hard. Can I be like uh, the? I know you don't want to be, be right? the cool guy. Uh-huh. Okay, okay, but is the most cool guy move any guest has done so far to use his armrest? Yeah, get the like fuck that. out of here. <laughs> when you did Such it, a boss dude, move. When you did it earlier, I was like, <laughs> well, I don't know if you guys see this, but I actually <laughs> don't a, have armrests. So. <laughs> I've never, I literally ran I'm out I'm of not, patio chairs. <laughs> yeah, not, like, I have armrests and I was using Sam's armrest. Dude, what, what is embarrassing too is I noticed it and I was annoyed by it and I wanted your arm to move the whole time, but I was like, don't want to be mean to the guest. You're afraid, like, of, you're afraid of conflict. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I guess that was just like you could have sat in my lap and I'd be like, okay, <laughs> this, I guess this is what we're doing. <laughs> you can absolutely keep doing it. I just uh, no, please, no, no, please, if you want me to be fucking annoyed the whole time, I'm a big boy, man. I, I gotta, I gotta spread out. You know what I mean? <laughs> there is a hole in the crotch of these jeans, and I'm worried that we're staring right down the pipe. Uh, of I think them right you're now. blocked. Okay, thank God. Yeah, wait, where? Mm. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, I blast. I, I yeah. blast through my. I that same hole appears in every single one of my pants after like five months of. Oh no, no. I have the same thing. Like big old the, cock, dude. Oh, it, it, it needs the room to hang. Or your farting <laughs> mustard gas. <laughs> it's, okay, that's no, not. It's, it's, it's my. It's the fact that I will not admit that I'm not a oh, 34 wait, inch this, waist. And is this mic a prop or is it actually? Do I have to keep it on my face? Yeah, no, real mic. It. It's, okay. a, it's a All live right. mic. All right. Yeah. Dude, we're using these as. Good lord. You think dude. we bought hundred dollar props? Dude, if you, you feel know what the, it is, to feel like business? a comedian, like <laughs> no, what are you talking it's, about? It's so weird talking into a mic and not hearing the the speaker. You know what I mean? Oh, From doing yeah, all the stand up. Yourself. It is. Do you need headphones? No, no, no. It's okay. okay. It's okay. I do feel lame with how conscious I am of how like swaggy I'm holding the mic is right now. You know what I mean? Like oh, I, I do I, when I'm watching the podcast you are, dude, and, I'm, and I'm like this. And I'm like, oh, what a dork. So I like to dude. Colin holds the mic the coolest, bro. He barely even touches it. He's like this. Yeah, he's right down there. He's like this. Yeah, he's on the court and he, <laughs> and he just lets it hang, dude. I got a big cock. I'm gonna let it hang. Yeah. That's not his vibe up there at all. I uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not Colin. Yeah, fuck you, Colin. Colin and just, your yeah. <laughs> small dick energy on yeah. stage. <laughs> he almost kind of does. Sorry. Okay. No. <laughs> no, no, like it. Not that Colin's fucking hilarious. One of the funniest guys out here doing it. But these, these, there's no like macho posturing. Like this ripped guy goes up there and then like sings show tunes and dances and you're like, this is hilarious. Like, well, I, he, he doesn't need to macho posture like he was. Yeah, know, he was a pilot in bobsled, so he doesn't have to. Yeah, true. He true. doesn't have anything to compensate for in life. I've Dude, been macho I, posturing uh, recently on stage, and everyone hates it. Don't do it. Everyone hates you when you do it. Yeah, it's. I, lo- I did that at a guy, and I thought, I thought it was gonna be so funny because I, <laughs> I thought he was gonna. I thought he was gonna move, and I was gonna go. Bitch, you know what I mean? And then he didn't move, and I was like, "Oh, he didn't like that." I'm uh, uh I, I'm gay. You know, like, it's like <laughs> I've had sex with guys. <laughs> like it's just like I completely folded. It Either was, there's no way to do that that isn't uh, douchey. <laughs> Like that was yeah. That's the people don't understand that. Like everything I'm doing is a joke. Okay, I'm 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 making fun. I'm like I would never do that. 
It's funny. Except I would pr- you would. All yeah, the, all okay, the time. You're right, I did. I literally did it. So whatever. I'm in the beers now. Fuck y'all. I said I wasn't going to drink tonight. Late. Cheers. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Did we, we introduce Dan? Oh yeah. This is Dan Chin. Hi. All right. <laughs> Got An introduction way. accomplished. <laughs> I'm uh this podcast is going to keep me an alcoholic. Um, I said I wasn't oh, yeah. going to drink tonight, and then. Everyone yelled at me and got angry. I, I said, I'm going mean, to... I thought you literally carved out your drinking schedule to allow for the podcast. No, dude. It's a mad dash. Every day, every week, I'm just like, I'm drinking again. Oh, shit. Like, the alcohol, <laughs> alcohol is just flying at me. And I'm just like, ah! I'm, just getting, I'm getting barraged every fucking week. And then I add this. It's like, oh, I'm going to get annihilated tonight, dude. Oh, my God. Because as soon as it touches my lips, it's over, dude. You don't it's have over. to get annihilated. We just need you loose, man. All right? Alcohol's flying into you? Yeah, dude. I'm in a... You mean flying? Flying from the bottle that you're pouring your, yeah, it's yourself into my mouth. It's, like, <laughs> it's just coming at me. What the hell? Who is doing this? I just I go to the liquor store and I buy it. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? About seven airplane bottles. I'm in out of my mind. Blizzard of booze. What is? <laughs> That's what it feels like, though. It's just like, and so whenever it is hilarious, like I resent whenever when when someone gives me one. Do you know what I mean? I'm like. Well, I guess you're making me do it. God damn it, dude! <laughs> I I have to be honest. When we went to Vegas for your birthday, I did want to drink a lot. Yeah, I did. I, it, I could tell you were having feelings. I mean, you said it like 18 times. Yeah, <laughs> you were like very I'm, intuitive. I'm guy. having yeah. thoughts. <laughs> no, I I need to say it out loud. It helps me feel better about it. But yeah. I was like this close. I, I, I don't remember because none of us would have let you. Yeah, none of you were cognizant enough at that point dude, to stop MJ me. MJ Bragg would have uh, shoved I it was, down your throat. I was impeccably aware, okay? Were um, you? Yeah. I was mixed. I guess, all right. I thought, you know what? I remember that it was you who drank the cigarette butt. And <laughs> <laughs> That's how I hold it down. Hey, why, why I like the party. I'm why like really cool. If you don't need a guy to do cool party tricks, like eat cigarettes, <laughs> I'll do that if you need it. Because Without noticing. Just, <laughs> yeah. This is smoking. Why, why don't you this indulge so us with the story of... I told it last week, <laughs> oh, okay? I don't want to dive yeah, back into it. I mean, we can do a quick recap for the people that are just tuning in for TN. <laughs> well, you know, I, okay, I, here we go. Fuck you. Yeah, I drank... <laughs> I drank uh, a bunch of whiskey that had a cigarette butt in it. Well, first and off, the only reason I couldn't tell... Well, sorry, keep going. Well, I was just going to give you a little bit of help here, which Thank is you. that Tian bought uh, scotch that it was the, the most uh, disgusting thing on earth. Thank you. The, the only reason I couldn't tell there was a cigarette in it is because and the whole thing tasted like a cigarette last anyway. last time I bought you something for your birthday. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. No, it was very nice of you. It, that is hard to drink, man. That is... Uh, like, it is a kick when to the you said dick. that was your favorite drink when you were drinking, I was like, "Oh, he had a problem." Yeah, like, dude. It's yeah, I, and I didn't realize it was a hard drink to drink until I saw you pussies drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? I choked the whole thing down with with cigarette ash in it. Okay, I was a warrior in there. Yeah, we made it happen. Like I did drink it, but yeah, I, you did yeah, drink it. At one point, actually, I did. Uh, I went and mixed in like half of a Coke with it. And, and, I, and I told Adoria not to tell you because I don't care. I was <laughs> like, I don't do want Tian to lose respect for me, but no, I, I don't can't. care. I uh, one thing I forgot to tell y'all is I was <laughs> y'all missed. There was a death scene, a murder scene in the bathroom, and it was just all my blood. And I was in there alone. I Wait, dropped, what? dude. I dropped my champagne glass, and it just just exploded while I was taking a pee. And then, like a drunken idiot, <laughs> just my my way of getting rid of it was getting on my hands and knees and going. <laughs> it's like raking in. He's like, oh no, Michael, I'm so sorry. You're going to lose your deposit on this hotel room. Oh, and I'm just bleeding everywhere, just wiping blood all over the white tile. And then it came back out like, what's up? Sorry, it took me long. I had to pee really bad. And then. And then, yeah. and then, the, and then the, next, the next morning, I stepped on a piece of glass. Oh, no. And it was like, minutes. where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> yep. And yeah, because he just kept it to himself. Yeah. You know? I'm a wreck, dude. I'm sorry. That's how it, that's how we do it, baby. But I really it was it was terrible. It was bad. I I kind of wish you would come out with just blood running. All <laughs> over <laughs> you. <laughs> whoa, whoa! I don't yeah. even notice. You make his hands covered in yeah. glass. Like it was very impressive that, that that you didn't even get a single drop of blood on my shirt. No. Yeah, that was very impressive. Oh, yeah, I was wearing your shirt. Yeah. Yeah, I dressed like fucking Joe Rogan wearing... taping his special. <laughs> I looked like such an idiot. It was a great shirt, but then I was wearing these jeans and tennis shoes and like a tight-fitting Oxford stripe shirt. You didn't have one nice shirt you could wear. 
You look like you were attending a fundraiser at a plantation. That is like the exact <laughs> vibe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, we're raising money for the uh, slaves. Um, <laughs> or slave budget. For the slaves. No, not for them. For them to, to buy more. To buy more. Oh, okay. the slave foundation. Yeah. Like, that's, that's, what I, that's the charity I give to. <laughs> is for, is for um, not for, for poor slave owners. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very noble cause. It's a noble cause. <laughs> we can't even afford slaves now. Quick corporate welfare for <laughs> slave poor, poor, poor slave owners in college <laughs> dude can you imagine like falling on rough times and being like I think I'm gonna have to sell my slave <laughs> oh my god we got to we got the slavery baby me being a racist is a big uh, it's a bit you know what's funny is I took offense to it for about like one second when I started doing comedy and now it's like, dude, people love when I call it's your myself. Bread and butter. It's my bread and butter. <laughs> yeah. My butthole, my penis, and me being racist is all I'm going to talk about. Yeah, yeah. but uh, <laughs> it's it's fine. You can you can put this here. That's no big deal. Yeah, he went I back will. to it so fast. Do keep it. <laughs> my uh, I was we played golf today, and I was viciously hungover, and I held it in like a champ. You uh, did. I couldn't tell you were hungover. And you had I a was, beautiful, fluid swing. I did. I was sweating bullets and just letting out the most treacherous farts you've ever heard. They were <laughs> y'all didn't smell any of them, but they were ridiculous. I was like, "Am I gonna? Am I gonna poop or something? What's, what is? What is going on? These are w- horrible." And he recently shit himself, so he's got that you know, whoa, 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 that what? recent trauma. Yeah. How recent are we talking? I'm talking like a week and a half ago. We, we're one. gonna have to repeat the whole last episode because yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> there's just so much. Not only did I shit myself, like it's not like I sharded myself, dude. I filled my pants like a diaper. <laughs> I crudded fully in my pants. I crudded three pounds of poop. Just fully, just soft serve ice cream. And the machine is broken and it is spraying everywhere, dude. And they, they got a maintenance guy like, we're going to oh, we're gonna drown. Like, it was like, I put my pants with a rose bowl, dude. And flies gathered around me like I was a pile of dung, dude. It was so embarrassing. Flies gathered. They gathered, and my roommate had to pick me up, and it was running down my leg, and it was after we had the Korean barbecue. It was all the, yeah, it was it was all the next day. Uh, shit and pure chicken hearts. That was <laughs> you did. This was your fault. <laughs> it's not my fault. You ate a chicken heart raw. Okay. Yeah, dude. It's just I'm about it. Oh, wow, <laughs> you had diarrhea after you ate a raw chicken heart. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was popping them like M and M's. I think that's the mildest symptom of salmonella you could possibly get. <laughs> and he said you could smell the chili oil on. The, you could see the chili oil. You could see it. Oh, you'd see it. You okay. could, it was that could obviously be, chili oil. There could just be your lacerated a- asshole. <laughs> True. No, but these are red chili flakes, my man. With like, this, this was obvious. I've seen them before. They, they, were not, they were not specks of blood. I've seen those before too. Okay, I've seen that in my stool, but that, that was not that. Yeah, no. Okay. What is it about getting older that all your shits are just nightmares now? Yeah, every single one. I don't think I've had like anything but diarrhea for like six years now. Really? Yeah. I had one. I, I've had one, and I remembered it. Like, and it happened like a year and a half ago. And I was like, like one Man. diarrhea? One, or no, I had one this one, healthy poop? This one gorgeous log that was just like just <laughs> curled around. And I was like, ugh. And yeah. I think back on it daily. I'm not kidding. Like, I it's it was it was gorgeous. I think I had two of those in my life. I don't. Yeah, Michael's got a bad body. Here I, love, I love the ones that come out. And it's Mal just like it's, it's it's just slides out, and then you wipe, and there's nothing there. Oh my god, there's a, it's a uh, beautiful thing that happens for you. Yeah, this ever happened for not you? Anymore. I not anymore. Not anymore. I eat like life. a dickhead now. That's such a good feeling. Did you know in Korean there's a literal word that describes that? Own, like there's a, a single word that you can describes say. the feeling of not have, of having to wipe once. It's like the, it, it directly <laughs> translates to like shit, no wipe. <laughs> one shit, no wipe, and that's you can use it as a. Do you feeling. know how to say it? No. But you can use it, I, and who knows right, if it's Kyle, true. Can you look this up? Can you, how uh, could that possibly be represented in one syllable? Well, one word, and it's and it's a feeling though. It's like saying like good vibes. It's like oh, dude, it was you know one shit no wipe. Like it was amazing. Like that's the way of saying it. Interesting. Isn't that kind of sick? You know, uh, uh, this is not related to that, but since we're talking languages, uh, the French way of saying hangover is like uh, avoir de uh, gourd. Uh, the de Gaulle de Bois or something, mm-hmm. and it means like to have the the face of the pig, really, or like the nose of the pig, something like that. That's, That's so, so strange. strange. 
So gay. Yeah. <laughs> That's so fringe. <laughs> yeah, gayest thing I've ever heard. I Googled Korean shit, no white. Uh-huh. Absolutely nothing came up. Listen, I'm not, okay, look in. Why did we even look it up, okay? Maybe I made up <laughs> I something. Am, I am shocked that nothing came up. Yeah. <laughs> something should have yeah, come I'm up. I'm sure. <laughs> something has to come up. Hey, go, to the, go to the images, okay? You're going to find some tasty things. Are you looking up North Korean shit in a white? <laughs> it's, listen, I can't cite my source there, but someone at least did tell me that. So that, like, I was. I one hope it was a Korean guy. <laughs> no, <laughs> maybe, dude. He could have been my grandfather. I don't know. But I have heard that that is a true thing. Okay. Uh, did you know this is this is true? And this came out of a German man's mouth. Okay. Uh, do you know how to say a- asshole in German is Ashgaga? And Ashgaga. that doesn't mean asshole. That means ass violin. And that's <laughs> you would never say asshole is asshole is asshole, but you would never that doesn't nobody says that asshole. Is it like like if you're being vulgar? an asshole, no, I don't know. It's just like when you're being a dick, somebody's like Ashgaga, Ashgaga. Marvin from Magdeburg told me that. Yeah, I had a uh, foreign <laughs> exchange student stay with me in high school, and he told me that I was the best host out of all of them. <laughs> he did. He told me that. He said I was. He was like, "You're the best one." I was like, "Yeah, well, <laughs> you're learning from the best, baby." Because you're racist. He was, he was white. Oh my god! He looked like you. Oh god! He came out of the airplane. You guys agreed on all the same things. You guys have similar ideologies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Yeah. Sure. (laughs) (laughs) We got along on like a lot of race stuff. We talked, you know, we talked foreign policy. He's got a really cool outlook. You're (laughs) almost (laughs) Aryan. Yeah, I lied the whole time. Accent that was. That was that was was Russian. But yeah. yeah. It was Fuck he me. did. I remember when he um, came. We had we were learning about World War II in history class, and he was like this super like, I don't know. He was like a sweetheart, and like I remember like like he needed to tell me. He looked at me. He goes, "We were watching some documentary." He goes, "Oh, we were such assholes. Like we were such jerks." And I was like, "I know, I know, you're not a Nazi, dude. It's okay." You know what I mean? Like what an underreaction to the Holocaust. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were. <laughs> we were. <laughs> oh, man, oh man, our bad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We were real stinkers on that one. You know what I mean? <laughs> that was like when a you know when a basketball player fouls someone and like holds their hand up. You know what I mean? That was we, like, we were really being a bunch of mashuganas. <laughs> <you know? laughs> Whoopsie doodle, y'all. Was that was a uh, you know we fucked up there. <laughs> Big time. He was. There is some kind of uh, Nazi-ish things about him, actually, which is interesting. His mother was know? his his mother was Brazilian. Mm. So do you know what about is, that? What, I don't know anything about. Well, anything. a lot of Nazi, like high-ranking Nazis, uh, escaped to South America. Oh, instead of you know Instantly. sticking around to you know face the why the, South the, America of all places. I don't know. Because they could, mm-hmm. isn't it? Where else? Where there. else can white people blend in? Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> isn't it insane that the same genetic makeup that made up this man it made it that absolute beefalo over there, dude? My God! What did God. you just call him? Beefalo. Beefalo? Yeah, dude. That's I'm not saying, a word. That's not a term. Well, well I, I could. I think Michael, if you worked out, he could easily get like that. Right. This is just a lack of effort. Okay. Yeah. I would be so He's much more. He's just lazy, jacked. is all. Oh, yeah. come on. Let's make fun of Michael, dude. Look at his bad body. <laughs> you know what I mean? Look, his body's not as good as it looks. I can't call him fat because I'm fatter than him, so. Yeah, but you're like, you're not fat like we are. We're fat like cheesecake. You're fat like pudding. Do you know what I mean? That's worse. What does that even mean? <laughs> That's I, worse. Please elaborate. I will is explain. It? Okay. <laughs> my fat has been building on my body for years and years. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure there's fat cells that I gained off popcorn I ate when I was at, like, that Harry Potter one. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's, <laughs> and it is a dense and a hard fat like a cheesecake. Do you understand? It's it's okay. and it's smooth and it almost can appear as muscle at times. Okay. You are jiggly like pudding. Do you understand? Yeah, that's worse. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's what, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? Here? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it is worse. Um, <laughs> but you know, yeah, I got a hard gut of fat. It is fat. My intestines are swollen. I'm fat like you 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 like um, you pumped me up like a basketball. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And you're fat like saddlebags. You know what I mean? <laughs> No, you got like I mean, hanging. The pity. analogies are lagging, but I do get it. Yeah, no, do you understand what I'm saying? I don't understand. Pumped me up like a basketball. Well, like it's fat. just like you just yeah, like he's tight. He's tight. Yeah, there's no there's no bounce to oh, it. Oh, it's you know? a, <laughs> there's no buoyancy. It's a fat that has a sort of surface tension. Yeah, yes. it's fat yeah. and it's liver. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I got like a sixty pound liver in yeah. there. <laughs> that's that's most of my stomach. Sam's like half liver and half person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I can't believe um, that. For the people that aren't in the room, I just want to. Explain that my my little brother's here, uh, not so little because he's been working out a bunch, dealing with some you know demons. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did he do to you? He is jacked as fuck, man. 
Yeah, you're ripped as hell, dude. What do you put up on the bench? Say it loud. 300 or so. 300 or so? Fucking serious? Well done, dude. I did 315 in high school. Just want you to know that. Uh, but uh, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely could, not, I could not do that now. But I've I, never even broken 250, I don't think. Really? Yeah, I, was, yeah. I was never good at bench. That's not bad, dude. I would lived on the bench, dude. Look at these short arms. I, w- I would crush it That's on the bench. That's the thing. Yeah, you don't have very far to go. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I am making fun of myself. I could move 300 pounds that much, like you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, dude. I fully locked out my arms. Whatever. Well, yeah, that would have been a lo- if I had those arms. That would have been locked out. You know what? I, I mean, I'm gonna. You have possibly shorter arms than me, dude. You kind of have alligator. You possibly do. No way, dude. I don't know about that. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. I mean, just. Oh, actually. Stand up. Look at my fingers. You're dipping your shoulders. Look at my fingers. Shoulder. No, no, no. Look at my fingers. You're dipping your shoulder. Okay, whatever, oh. dude. They're similar. They They're similar. similar. They're similar. They're, similar. They're fucking the similar. exact same. Which, whatever. Yeah. Fuck you. All right. I hate myself. What's also, you just thing? took my butt length. I did? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Have you done any comedy recently? Yeah. How you doing? Doing here and there. Uh, it's been good. I, I, I'm kind of at a phase where, like... I'm kind of not sure what I want to do in terms of like the material that I'm doing. Yeah. Do you guys ever go through that? Yeah, I'm right now. Constantly. I've been bombing for like a month and a half. I yeah, really I've, been, I've been, I mean, no. I'm okay with bombing, to be honest, but I've just been trying to, I go back and forth, you know, because sometimes I'm like, I want to do the goofy stuff. I want to learn how to do that. You know, the Your stuff is so far up Sam's thigh. I'm yeah, sorry. I know. I know it bothers <laughs> him. It's, it's, it's okay. I yeah, don't even no, notice it, right now. I've, I've completely given up. This is my arm <laughs> rest now. That's fine. That's yours. <laughs> you, you win. You yeah. win. I'm a pussy. You this win. This is how you are on planes. Yeah. You, just, you can have. And dude, you're slunked around. Like, look, you're taking yeah. up. You're a big man and you're really showing it right now. But yeah, just keep going. Sorry. Talk about your comedy. So <laughs> you, sometimes you want to do the silly stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's what my heart wants. But then the stuff that works for me is a lot more like storytelling, kind of like wit based. I like what Sam does. Calling yourself clever. I am clever. I don't, I know it. (laughs) But what Sam does, I'm not saying what you do isn't clever, but there's like a, there's like a, there's like an instant (laughs) reaction. For me, the, the the laugh comes maybe a second or two after the punchline. You're like thinking you, about it. Yeah, Once yeah. the dumb audience gets around to your, your <laughs> level of intelligence. Yeah, exactly. But with Sam, it's like you're laughing before you even know it. You know. Do you ever think that that's something that that okay? And let me psychoanalyze you for a second here. Do you ever think that that's not necessarily what you actually want, but you're just kind of programmed to want something that you don't necessarily have? Do you know what I mean? Like grass is always greener type thing. Because yeah, when I want you to do it, I'm like. I want what you have because you're cool as fuck up there. You, I'm never worried about you. There's no sense of panic. You're just you're you know. Yeah, I dude, a thousand percent. I think everybody has things that they're lacking in and they just can't figure out. You know. Yes. And those are the. I mean, I've always been the kind of guy who loves like things that are challenging. You know, and yes. when, when a yeah. thing becomes too. I don't know, too effortless. I mean, not saying comedy is effortless. It's always a fucking challenge. But yeah. you know, there's certain things that are a little easier that come naturally to you. And sometimes when I do those things, even if they are like good quote unquote good jokes or I feel good about the jokes it still feels like I'm failing myself okay because you're not pushing yourself to do something that you're not great at yet yeah yeah well it's not like I I don't think I'll ever be Sam you know I don't think I'll ever be like Danny I don't think I'll ever be like Rory but I think like some approximation. That's the trio. Of, I was. That's we're we're often people. When people bring up those names, it's often in that order. Do you know what I mean? I'm Boris yeah. Goebel, Sam Landers, that kind of type. You know what I mean? That kind of you know legendary comic. I really do think you guys are like the same kind of funny. Where it's like I think he's getting there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he could. I think Rory could be me if he if he if he you know took a little effort into his joke writing. You know what I mean? Like, but uh, so tell us about how you've been bombing this whole month. <laughs> <laughs> I have been I've been eating shit. Michael saw it, and it was. I, I also I, I was like you know I always think I bomb and then I listen back to the recording I'm like oh that's not that bad oh, yeah, yeah. and then he was there and I was like you know like at Powell House and he goes yeah you bombed and I was like oh okay thank you never mind because <laughs> I, like, I listened back to the recording thank you I love people like you who will tell it like it is dude yeah that is nice it's so it's there's so many people where it's like you didn't do that bad man it's really not that and then you listen back and it's like yeah I did that bad I yeah. did really fucking bad I, I ate a dick at the crow last week did you really yeah it was like such a layup too the audience was young and they were drunk and i went up first which you know that's to be tough. fair that's it's not my spot you know i need people to warm it up yeah you're more of a they headliner always stick me yeah in. exactly <laughs> exactly you need a gesture to come out there and like juggle and like yeah. oh, you need me to go up there or like a stripper to show her pussy first you know yeah okay something to set it up yeah 
What? I wanna... <laughs> she, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, no joke. You know actually, how they do it at the comedy store? They, they just that have that lady ha-ha. come out and drag her pussy around they the did stage. That at the ha-ha? Mm-hmm. Are you serious? Dude, there was a full nude. Not full nude, okay. but titties. It was okay. a show at the haha, and they opened the show with a, a a woman dressed up as Bernie Sanders. And she was doing hot. the the, yeah. the, the that chair gets me meme. going. I'm already hot. She's baby. doing the chair me, and then she tears off all of the trench coats and the mittens and the, yeah. the wig, and she's. I mean, honestly, she's she, pretty ugly. But <laughs> oh, what a bummer! I mean, if she could play Bernie, if they were, if, they, if they looked at her and they're like, "What celebrity can she play?" Uh, fuck. And then, and then she, uh, next to the stage, coming up to the stage, Bernie Sanders. Give it up. <laughs> feel feel the the burn. Burn. Sanders. <laughs> yeah, feel the burn. Yeah, and then, and then uh, but she, actually, don't feel the burn. No touching. Uh, <laughs> and then she proceeded to ninety-nine like, percent of the. <laughs> Pussy goes to 1% of <laughs> men, and we need to redistribute the pussy. Mm. Uh, was that, that Alec Baldwin? <laughs> no, no, no. That was it. Okay, you know what? Uh, you guys know what I was trying to do, and now you're just trying to make me feel bad. Okay, no, dude, you should, you should I didn't try practice. it on stage, dude. That was good. Uh, <laughs> no, dude, keep uh, working on I that, wish, Bernie. I wish this was a gun. <laughs> <laughs> is that Wait, your thing on the podcast, is you're always pretending to kill yourself? No. Oh. Does it seem that way? <laughs> yeah. It's happened multiple times. And we're what are like, you talking about? We're like 20 minutes in. Has she threatened to kill himself? Yeah. That's, a That's not true. Do you, do you have That's like a tape that you don't notice? Watch it back later. I guarantee there's one other instance, at least. <laughs> Can you imagine finding that out about yourself? Like, man, I keep accidentally saying I want to kill myself, and I don't even know it. That's kind of weird. I've been saying it a lot recently to where I'm like, do I? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is yeah. true and not funny, but I'm going to bring it up. This is just so sad. I, You know when you like think about something embarrassing, and you go like, ah, ah. You yeah. have to like do that. Mine has progressed. This is what, okay. So it used to be, yeah. And it used to be like, oh, and I had to make a noise. And now, and then it went to, this is what I would say. As if I was talking to someone about me, like I'm someone else. And, I'm t- and I'd be like, oh no, Sam actually killed himself. I would, I would say that. You act out. Instinctively. Like, how yes. people would talk Sa- about your, your demise. Yes. And now it's morphed into, I, sc- I go F slur. I said, I call myself the F slur. Uh-huh. And then I say, I don't know which one you mean. Um, Fart, um, and then I and then I uh, and then, fucking fart killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and then I and I say and I go fart kill yourself. Isn't that so weird? And I don't want to do that, but uh, <laughs> who are you when you say that? Are you you? I'm I'm me you? talking to me. <laughs> that's that's um, yeah. Isn't this uh? Isn't this hilarious? Uh, not really, because I kind of <laughs> need you around for the pod. No, this yeah, is, I, I have no uh, desire to kill myself. But I mean, everyone thinks about it. Yeah. you know, it's a very common. I used to. I every time I used to get high, I would I would uh, I would daydream about my funeral. And if it was a good high, I would imagine that there's a lot of people there. Oh, this is the pe- this is the depth of narcissism right now. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, my f- everyone's gonna be mourning me. And I would, I would. Here's the specific thing I would think about is, is my exes, my exes who I haven't seen for uh, years and years. Yeah, exes from fucking middle school show up and give oh. obituaries about me, I and they cry. Have, I shouldn't have broken up with him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they all say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, fucked up thought that reminds me. I had uh, like a girl broke up with me and like afterward I was I was going through the throes of it you know and uh, she worked in like a trauma unit at a at a nearby hospital and I kept oh, no. having the thought when I was driving like what if I had gotten a wreck not bad enough to die <sighs> But just bad enough that she'd have to see me fucked up. <laughs> hey, like <laughs> I'm I'm pushing through it. Don't worry about yeah. me. <laughs> I'm gonna be just fine. It was you such go, a you fucked go back up, to work. Uh, thought. I don't, yeah. <laughs> that but is like, a fun way. You to guys win. shared your embarrassing thoughts, <laughs> no, and, I, and everybody <laughs> laughed. And then, and then I share mine, and no, you guys like, mine came to a grinding halt. Dark. What I said? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I was like, why did I start this? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was no. Yours. That's hilarious, dude. That's pathetic. I gave one time. I like. And this is actually a good, healthy thing I did. Like when I was with a therapist, um, I uh, you, you pushed me off, bro. I saw you do it. Take it back, take it back. But you pushed me off of it. God. You pushed me off the damn thing. Your cheeks are red, dude. I'm hot right now, dude. I'm wearing a hoodie, and I fucked up because I have a sleeveless shirt on under this, and I'm not going to have a sleeveless shirt on the podcast because I don't want everybody to be distracted by how horny they are. Um, 
<laughs> the fuck, what was I talking about? Okay. I had a story. You I were to going to therapy at one point in your life. I was going to therapy at one point in my life. Literally and not I, anymore. And I, I need you so bad, dude. It's kind of good lord. I do anything. Some, someone Venmo me. Uh, <laughs> uh, but uh, I'll just go like once a month. I can pay for that. Sam Landers won a Venmo. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Well, well, good memory on uh, That's insane. But I was going to the therapist and I sent, I remember I was like talking about my ex and like guilt, like I felt like guilt around things. And so, and then I sent my ex like two years later, like a voice memo, just like essentially just being like, Hey, I'm sorry about fluff, 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 fluff. This is so weird. I know this is out of the blue, but like, and that was a genuine thing. I was like, I need to get these off my chest, but also I'm sure she's going to give me one back being like, no, don't be sorry at all. I was the bitch. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> you were blameless in that relationship. Okay. You would get drunk and argue with me. And that was awesome. You know, like that, 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 I actually loved that. Okay. You're, I didn't realize you're, how lucky I was <laughs> <laughs> to have a boyfriend who makes mean comments about my body that are like, what? I don't even know. how to. Like, <laughs> dude, they weren't mean, but they like were like sorority of, hazing your girlfriend. Yeah. It's like <laughs> the black Sharpie marking where they could lose some weight. Oh like, my God. You didn't did call they, my girlfriend a whore. Like, Three times in Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'm not going to go out walking with this harlot. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's call, technically not whore. I no. call it like I see it, okay? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kidding, we were having fun. We were goofing, right? I thought, listen, I, when I get deep into the goofs, I don't know what I like. Anything goes, right? Yeah. She was laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it I was did. a good time. Well, she was dressed like a tramp, and I thought she should know. <laughs> the first time he ever saw it, Doria, she was going out, and he called her a hooker from the future. <laughs> <laughs> did I say that? Yeah, she. Oh boy, yeah, you did. That's a you sick did. line. Yeah, <laughs> that's like was, a pretty I mean, good rush. Fair, she was wearing like one of those like Chinese like collarless things, and then yes. like yeah, she did look like a future from the future. She looked like sci-fi. Uh, hooker, hooker from, from the, the future. future. <laughs> what did I say? What did you say? You I said, said a future, future from, from the future. future. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a sick line. Okay, I like the. What do you mean? What were you upset when I was like? I don't remember. They're like, oh well, that wasn't an alcohol induced thing. I just don't remember. Okay. I don't remember. I said nothing. Yeah, well, you looked at me with judgment. <laughs> Maybe it was just me. <laughs> yeah, no, I judged myself You're there. Projecting a little. I'm sorry. I uh, was assuming that you would take this time to, uh, that you don't have a job to pursue comedy, but. Yeah, that hasn't happened. <laughs> have you not been going out and going up? I, I've gone up once in like the last three weeks. Oh, wow. Honestly. What is that? What do you think is going on? Um. I just think I'm above it, you know. I don't <laughs> think <laughs> you can like get so much out of open mics, and I think I've kind of mastered comedy. So I feel like True. at this point, it's just like you know, it's it's about the expositions. You're just waiting for that the, call from Louis from from the store. You know what I mean, right? Louis at the store. Who? Okay, I don't know. What? You're waiting for you're waiting for your big moment. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm just waiting for somebody to discover me as I edit the podcast in the the office. Yeah, CAA, I'm sure we'll call. Uh, No, I mean, I have just been doing that and wrapping up stuff at work. That's 100%. And I'm not good at managing my time. That's Okay, okay. What do you do with your time? Uh, And uh, and going to the gym. That's been part of it, too. Yeah, that's why you can't go to Mike's. You're trying to be a healthy person? I'm trying to fix myself, Tian, you know? He He has got some problems. His blood is too thick. I think yeah. balancing your life is a myth. Oh, okay. What does that mean? I, I mean, no half, trying, no half then. measures. Yeah. Like, there's no, no hope. <laughs> Tian, uh, according to Tian Chen, I should give up on uh, the dream of Bro, balance. Bro, there was, a, there was a week where I ran like 18 miles, and I, I I didn't do like one set of good comedy that entire week. Oh, that's what I'm crushing. Wait, so yeah. you think that if you do stuff that's good for you, you won't do it's good not comedy? It's, I have a limited amount of energy. I don't know how you guys work, uh, but okay. I'm like very low econ as a person. So when like, I when I go do anything that takes any kind of energy, yeah. yeah, and comedy, it takes by far the most energy. So if I don't have all my energy, like I have to take like a four hour nap before I go do a show. <laughs> That's not a nap. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to get a night of sleep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, get two nights of sleep before I do a show. <laughs> that's literally, you know, I mean, that's how the great Donald Trump ran our country for four years. It was on four hours of sleep a night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. I do feel what you're saying. Like, sometimes when I have... When I've like gone to the grocery store and then I have to do something else, I'm like, but I fucking did something already today. Like, exactly. I, mean, I, to, like, I did my thing for the day. This is Dude, insane. I have a, I have that, a, that's exactly why you should be like exercising and stuff because that increases the the volume of work your body can do. 
I will say no, I, I feel do- too fulfilled after that. You know, I need to feel <laughs> empty. Yeah. Uh, I so then it's the, 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 the then it's the first thing I said. It's not about the energy. It's about the psychological <laughs> aspect of yeah, like. Yeah, there is a little bit. I, I need to a, hate myself to go seek the validation of others. It's just that I I think like I have a checklist mentality where it's like if you do three things every day, you feel good. You know, and if I feel good, I don't need to do anything on top of that. Three things, uh, like. Like, at all, like, or just three things that like you a, should a, do. You so. should do like productive things. Yeah, you know? I honestly I think three is a good number. If, if, if you, you know what three, I mean, the, I do have the opposite thing with working out. I do when I work out, I'm destroying on stage. Really? Yeah, because I guess I get I get that same. I get the runner's high. I've, I am a. Uh, I've experienced the runner's high. I don't know if you've ever experienced that. Yeah. But it's the same feeling to me as when you're crushing on stage a little bit. And this is why I think it helps me when I write. I always, like, my best jokes I've ever written have always been, like, right after a run. Like, it's just, I've talked about this, but it's like a voice memo. That does memo. happen. That does yes. happen. Yeah, it's yeah. a voice memo being like, okay, tonight you're going to talk about, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's. I do the same thing. And I think yeah. it's because you're you get that high, and so then you that uh, judgmental you put part a of, bunch of fucking blood in your brain muscle. Yes, like what the, and you get in that that judgmental part of your brain that says like that's not funny. Yeah, kind of goes away, and so you have the courage to just open up your phone and be like, no, this is funny. And so half of them are like, that's the worst idea I've ever heard in my life. But but I'll get like every time I run, I'll get like five things that I'll never talk about, and then one that I'm like, I'm going to talk about that tonight. And Wait, also, so you for, your runner's high is like. A marijuana high for some people. Yeah, I definitely get creative and like, and I want to do things. I've never had that happen to me even one time where I smoked weed and, and got creative. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah, okay. dude. I I think that's a fucking lie, dude. I every- actually, it's really funny. I one time I got really high and I opened a file on my computer and I named it High Thoughts. <laughs> And then I started a Word document and put it in there, and I never used it again. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, this is going to be part of my process now. I need I need a place for these. That's so funny. Like, the symbolism behind that of, like, opening up and just being like, it's empty. You know, there's a, yeah. There are no thoughts. You're, yeah. <laughs> You're just dumb when you do that. Yeah. Dude, I tried to write a screenplay when I was high. I got through, like, the title, and then... <laughs> <laughs> and I really worked on that like title. The last thing people do. I would, no, dude. The title was like I took hours on that title, dude. <laughs> Can you tell us the title? The title was uh, Pink Jack Knights. Jack. Yeah. yeah, like Jack. Like the name. Yeah. And then I wrote this. Okay, first of all, K N I G H T S. Pink. And then. The I night, was really like, into that's the movie a terrible Drive. Name. That's a terrible time. name. I, I I didn't say it was good. Okay, I just yeah. said I worked really hard on it. <laughs> <laughs> I just assumed. I yeah. just assumed. <laughs> I just said I spent a lot of time on it. And you were in the drive. Did you see it like in the pink lettering and cursive? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Drive so, everybody. Did drive you know, was sick. Drive was so sick, yeah. dude. Yeah. Everybody went through that phase where it's like, I'm Ryan Gosling. I'm gonna buy a jacket with the scorpion on it for sure. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get one of those cool jackets and start Ryan driving. Ryan Gosling, I think, is like one of the worst actors of all time. Okay, you can leave now. Yeah, no, I think he's one of the worst. Up, I love the guy. I'm sorry, but remember the Titans, <laughs> dude. You forget that he's he's Come the corner, on, dude. Okay, player of, joust. Oh fuck! I, three, <laughs> three time player of the week. <laughs> three times, dude. He's taking him out of the game. <laughs> yoast! You yoast! That's what he's Put saying. my son in the game. <laughs> yeah, dude. How dare you say that? And he sings never country music. That. You've never seen Remember the Titans? I've never even seen Forrest Gump. We were talking about this. Do you hate white people? Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> no, I hate old movies. It, uh, like, except like, for Jim Carrey. Old movies. The, yeah. The but I watched that when it was current. You know? Okay. Yeah. It's gotta be. It's gotta be in the now for you to like it. It's gotta be. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta be popping. You know what I mean? Like it's gotta what be. What are you trying to be right so now? Fucking, <laughs> he's so fucking cool. Be, are you a pimp? Yeah, dude. It's gotta be now. It's gotta be cool and jive. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> he's showing back to like the eighties. Yeah, I'm, I'm a black man from 1968 right now. <laughs> like, say, and now he's white. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, here's my here's my critique about Ryan Gosling. It also kind of relates to my critique about myself doing comedy. Is that he never never gets out of his comfort zone he plays the same exact character every single time well, and when he does get out of his comfort zone 
Uh, what is that fucking movie? Uh, police Squad? Police Squad? Nice Guys? No, no, no. Nice Guys was awesome. But See, he's sick in that, and he's goofy, he's and not, he's funny, okay, and he he's funny wild, and he's, whoa, you know? Whoa. When he deviated he's from his regular <laughs> shit, I did enjoy him. But what is that movie? There, there was one where he was a cop in, like, 1960. Oh, Gangster Squad? Gangster that movie squ- sucks. Exactly. Uh, that, I didn't even yeah. see the, the, that movie the poster for that. Dude, how about the name? Ga- Gangster yeah. Squad? Yeah. yeah, that's the Pink Knight shits on Gangster Squad. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Pink Jack Knight. I'll be honest, Pink, Pink Jack, Jack Knights. If Pink Jack Knights was a good screenplay, I'd be like, sick name. Dude, Wait, I, uh, without you telling us, Sam, what do you think Pink Jack Knights was about? Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> I mean, I did just tell you I was obsessed with Drive, so you can take a guess. Is it about a... Don't uh, give him fucking hints. I wanna, is it about like a... I gave him no new information. 28-year-old comedian who like hates himself on stage? Was that what it was about? <laughs> that was too mean. Um... <laughs> Was it about yourself? No, I thought because uh, you were critiquing yourself and you wrote it. Ha, ha, ha. Um, you don't have to have a good answer. I was just Pink curious what that brings to Pink mind Jack Knights. Is it about? I'm thinking knights. Do you know what I mean? I'm yeah, thinking I was like thinking no, 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 but no, 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 no. But, medieval knights. But like I'm just I'm thinking it's like. Is it spelled K N I G H T? No, 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 no. It's spelled N I A G H T. It's about people that jack cars at night and they're in a gang and they all wear like a pink jacket. There we go. Hey. Actually, impressive. Really? People who steal cars. Yeah. <laughs> Bang! That, that, on, that makes the title even worse. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I hate that title so much. <laughs> I only got it from Drive. I got it from Drive. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, steals those cars. Are, those are good it's a gang of kids who steal cars. And That's kind of sick. And yeah. they're called the Pink Jack Knights? Or? No, and then they they try to steal a uh, pastor's car who's like the center of the community, and they witness him doing something bad. Uh-huh. And they, they, they think of themselves as a hero in the situation, but they just make everything worse. And then they eventually get some kind of closure by lighting the pastor's uh, prized rose bushes on fire. Pretty cool. Kind of a good... Uh, I actually do that. I don't, I don't hate that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. It's a good story. Yeah. That's, that's a good story. And you know, I have a I have a reference for you. What? Um if you watch our episode with Josh Noble, uh he had a pastor growing up that he did <laughs> uh, that he like drank and did Adderall with when he was like sixteen. Wow, you're really hurting for views. And then he like, was you're, uh, you're peddling to your guests. What? You, I'm saying you're really hurting for views. No, I think this it? could help your story. I know, I'm fucking around. <laughs> All right, well, oh I'm not going to tell you now. You know what? Uh, I'm sorry, I feel like Enjoy really fleshing out the Pink Jack Nights by, by yourself. Oh, no, that was a long forgotten dream, dude. Movies are in my past. <laughs> I wrote, no I wrote longer a feature writer. 120 yeah. pages of a screenplay one time. Put it away, I'll never look at it again. I, I, I'm just an idiot. I don't, so it was, cool, dude. It was just, I, I'm not... Pitch it to these guys. It was sick. Do you want to hear it? It's a cool, it's a cool screenplay. It was okay. like, okay. Wait, so, hold it. I need to go pee really bad. Go pee, I, pee. Is that cool? Yeah, of course. Uh, can you just do it there? Like, <laughs> there's plenty of open cans, dude. Do you have to interrupt the flow, you know? No, please. Wow. This guy's talking shit on the pod while he's on the pod. I, I just said it was my fault. No, you're good. Not your fault at all, you're dude. great. Wait, don't stop it. Don't stop it. What did we tell you? Never stop it. Okay. Just making sure I press record 10 hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Never stop it. Do, shall I start? No, no, no. You should come in and pitch it, and their executives and. Oh, okay, okay. okay I'm down. To sell this movie. You, okay, but then I'm gonna have questions. Okay. You're gonna have to, you There's know. Some changes. You you're gonna have to be able to explain your reasoning behind things. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. Okay. My reasoning was like it was the beginning of the pandemic, and I was like, <sighs> I need to be productive okay, with so all this Michael, time. Who do you work for, and what's your name? Um. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm actually an executive at Hulu. We're looking to uh, expand mm-hmm. our uh, feature slate for fall of 2025. That's we plan kind of far ahead. My God. Okay. Okay. Um, my name is uh, uh, Rohan Stevenson. Rohan Stevenson. Yes. <laughs> and uh, uh, is that a reference to the writers of Rohan? <laughs> No, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah, that's just my name. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know if... Is that how you always start pitches? By accusing people my, of having hack names? No, no, my fault. Um, I just thought you might have been a Lord of the Rings fan. But, you know. Just the kids. <sighs> Never yeah. heard of it. So, uh, so he's coming in to pitch you guys movies. Michael's an executive at Hulu, as are you. We need your name, and then uh, you can let us... And your you. title. I'm, I'm vice Jeremiah president. Jeremiah Kwan. Jeremiah what? Kwan. Why Mike? Kwan? I don't know. I like it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you kin to Michelle? The famous figure skater? Michelle Y'all don't Kwan, understand but, yeah. my uh, references. It's, it's okay. 
It's okay. Yeah, you're really starting this meeting off well. <laughs> All uh, right. So uh, please tell us your pitch. Hi, thank you so much. My name is uh, Marcus Mariota. It's, it's a pleasure. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet y'all. Okay. Um, I, I quit the Titans and now I do this. Okay. I. Um, I. Uh, okay. So this is my. Here's my film. Okay. Okay. So I recently asked my father. Yeah, I'm telling a story from my life. I recently, a friend of mine. In real life, this is not a character. This no, is this you is, speaking. This is, okay. Yes, okay. This is so my I get confused my co-writer asked his father what uh, if he could have uh, one superpower, what would it be? And he said super strength. And we thought that was really funny because that's stupid. Do you know what I mean? In a practical <laughs> world, what are you going to do with super strength right. other than just show it off? You know what I mean? Maybe you get famous from it. Maybe you have a show in Vegas. I don't but know. Really, maybe you get, you get to be one of the highest paid professions. Oh. That wouldn't be allowed. Are you saying like a, a, uh, like a athlete? Yeah. That would be the, the strength. You'd be murdering people on the pitch. Do you know what I mean? You'd be. If that you, would be, wait. Is that like does that come into play in your movie? Do you have like an like an early yes. scene where a young yeah, uh, man with super strength beheads someone on the football field? Or? Uh, no, but it, he uh, there's rejections. Like uh, that's explained. Like as that could never be. You know, because he would be. Killing is it explained people. through dialogue. It sounds kind of boring. It's all. Mm. It'll be in there now. Uh, okay. okay. It's it just. It's 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 in there. It's in a really fun way. We show it. We don't tell it. Okay? We're looking to compete with HBO Max. Mm -hmm. um, so if you could. Any violence you can bring in would be helpful. This is R-rated violence. Okay, we have oh, insane good. violence. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm interested. All right, so th there is so let's say there is a man with super strength. All he would do is just like and he'd go to his Vegas show, and all he'd be able to do is just like lift a train car, and then he'd be like, "I mean, that was amazing, but like whatever." And then you'd probably just die out, and then you'd be some loser, once famous loser who just has useless super strength and just has to have a job. Do you know so I mean? you think super strength is like completely useless? Yeah, I, I mean, I think I mean like okay, listen, okay, listen, listen. Like in the Marvel universe, like when the Hulk, like that doesn't exist in the real world, okay? Like there's no galactic evil to fight oh, okay. with so your this super is strength. A, this so you're takes pitching place, a, wait, you're pitching a documentary? This is no, in the real world. No, it's a scripted world? film. It's a it's a scripted oh, movie. Okay. You said it was in the real world. It, it takes place Versus, in as in, opposed to the Hulk, which you said. Y'all really, I didn't know you were going to be mean to me. I didn't know that was part Look, of it. Look, we're this. just doing our jobs. I, you can right? just say questions. no. You can just say no and I'll no, leave. I, this isn't a no. This is not a okay. no. I'm just asking questions to better understand your, yes, your your vision, okay? Okay. I'm here to hear your artistic vision and then to help, uh, you know, bring it to life or dash it, you know, but yes, right sir. now we're, we're just open. We're, we're in a sandbox. We're playing. By the way I see things, I do think super strength, other than just like if you're like essentially just like a human crane that can like lift heavy things, mm -hmm. other than that, I don't think it would have much currency in the in the real world okay that's how i guess just where i see i mean here's the thing i come from a long line of lumberjacks yes sir and uh they have machines to do those things okay so you don't respect uh my family's line of work yeah you get it okay why uh, do you have to talk about lumberjacks every meeting i'm so i just i feel like we have a lot of like you know these these intellectuals come in here and then they just talk down on physical prowess yeah and I'm like a genius intellectual. To be honest, Your dad I'm kind of sick of it. First of all, okay. Oh, you were He wasn't even gritty. He wasn't even like a hardworking blue collar man. Okay, you know what? You're still trying to get money out of yeah, me. So right, why don't yes, you? Sir. Why don't you fucking and show I, some respect? I haven't even got to the bones of the story. Okay, I'm just telling you our lead, Ray. Is, is he super strong and super durable? No, he's just strong. <laughs> he did, like, are you saying like, can he take a punch? Like, can he like? Can he take a bullet? Is no. he like a super... He's just a squishy, big, buff guy? He's just like if I gain super strength, okay? <laughs> okay. It's just like if a normal but guy... But like with that super strength, doesn't come any sort of imperviousness to injury? Uh, I didn't say he's super strong and super impervious. Did I say that? I said he was super strong. No, but you would just assume someone that's super strong would have a little extra protection against... If you're... Not, I mean, that I wouldn't. Can I please lay out the skeleton of my story, dude? Okay? Okay. It's going to okay. be cool. Okay. It's cool. Okay? And so... Now he's a loser and he's late on his rent and he has a condo full of his like, uh, you know, lost dreams and is uh, divorced and his son doesn't respect him. Okay. Okay. And he's in love with a cam girl that he met on a pornography site. Okay. okay. This is hitting a little close to home. I got to be honest with you. <laughs> he's in love with a cam girl. His name is Marcus Mariota. That's not a big deal. Okay. <laughs> he's, uh, he's, uh, he, you know, he before he was super strong, he played in the NFL and he like was not, he was kind of disappointing, honestly, but he was sick okay. at Oregon. Uh, Heisman contender. Um, okay. And then. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Is this <laughs> in the real world or not? Okay. I'm, no, that's I, just that's just forget about that. No, okay. we really it's, love this Marcus Mariota documentary you're pitching us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's kind of like a. I think we're in. I think. <laughs> oh, really? Well, so, not so fast. I, I would like to hear how this uh, plays out. Okay, and then also just I'm so sorry. This is very unprofessional. I wrote this like three years ago, so I have forgotten kind of what happens in the movie after oh, okay. that. But Do you have anything more he recent? Does, he uh. does go into at one point and he realizes that his girlfriend, or the woman that he's in love with, this cam girl is actually part of like an illegal like sex ring and she is being having to do this uh, 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 not by her will mm -hmm. and so then he goes in and he fucking saves the day like a knight in shining armor and okay. we were thinking the league isn't that played. kind of the ending of Taken yeah, but like, but Marcus okay. Mariota is in this one. You know what I mean? That's where the difference is. But like, so this is taken, taken with, with Marcus Mariota. Marcus Mariota instead of Liam Neeson. Yes, that's the elevator pitch. Okay, that's <laughs> taken. You just, you just think but, taken, okay. but it's Marcus Mariota, and now like, because Liam Neeson's like, a, a, like he's not a very good actor. But Mariota can fucking do it. Okay. You know what I mean? Like he he's you should see him. Man. Now I understand. Yeah. Uh, and do you think you could do this for like 150 million? I mean, at least seven hundred million. Okay. Marriott has got a very high. He needs Jesus a lot of money. Christ. Okay, he's the, really. The I was whole, about to give you a deal, but are you going to build a robotic Mariota? <laughs> <laughs> Mariota's on came on hard times and his rate six hundred million dollars. Okay, I feel like if he's on hard times, he doesn't have a lot of room to negotiate. What are he, you talking about? He's got about? a lot of powerful loan sharks after him, and he needs the money. I'm Marcus Mariota's. I, I yeah I, yeah. I hope he sees this. <laughs> I'm also I'm forgetting in this scene. I'm also Marcus. Mariota, so yes. Yeah, yes, I've fallen on hard times, and my rate is very, very high. My rate is six hundred million dollars. Okay, and that is to—that's uh, just to write it, or you expect to star in this? No, you need somebody. I was really thinking this could be like a vehicle for, like, I don't know, a Seth Green. No, you need—I I would never act. In. You need like a Liam Neeson. Maybe he would work. <laughs> okay, so you want to do <laughs> Taken with Marcus. With Mariota Liam. instead of Liam Neeson played by Liam Neeson. <laughs> Liam Neeson. Yes, you get it, but his name okay. is Marcus Mariota. Okay. I think so this, this will is sell. taken, but his name's Marcus Mariota. Well, he is Marcus Mariota. It's not, you know, he's... He I mean, honestly, Taken did very well, so we would be so lucky as yeah. to have this on our platform. Um, we'll give you a, a $600 million to write and then $2 million to shoot. That's a deal. That's a deal. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> I can do it for a hundred thousand, dude. I'm just gonna pocket the rest of the two mil. <laughs> the movie's never getting made. Yeah, no. No, that was my legitimate uh, idea for a movie, though. Yeah, yeah, that was also an insider look on how movies get made, boys and yeah. girls. <laughs> What's the title? Uh, the Amazing Ray. <clears throat> oh my god. That's good. I like that. As it came out of my mouth, I didn't like it a little bit. <laughs> it, it, it sounds like a movie that came out in like 1901. <laughs> like amazing that's, Ray. He was. He went by the amazing. He was like, "Come see the Amazing Ray." Like it does kind of feel like a play on words on the Amazing Race. True. Yeah, but then, mm. but then he would have called it white. Ooh, what? <laughs> One for the white boys over here. What? One for the white boys, you Asian person. <laughs> <laughs> I was a joke about Sam being racist. That's really softballing, dude. I wasn't saying that. I was you, saying you would have said you're that. You're dominated right now. Your whole culture's getting shit on. You just called me an Asian person, you <laughs> vagina. You absolute vagina. You almost said Asian American, you puss. <laughs> you fucking... Asian American Pacific Islander piece of shit. <laughs> fucking AAPI. <laughs> Man, listen, from my perspective, that's very offensive. So, mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> the word Asian is offensive. <laughs> you get it. That's all I gotta say. Uh, no, I have nothing against the Asian people. I do. It's, Wait, it's my turn to pee. You do? Mm -hmm. Tell me about what you have against the Asian people. Should we wait for them to come back? No, let's keep uh, going. Uh, uh, <laughs> they're just icky, you know? <laughs> I love to think that there's like one of my like southern friends at home being like, finally, dude, like, hell yeah, dude, somebody's saying it. They're dude. weird. I do. Okay, for the people at home, I have a bit that I do that has the word chink in it about 565 times. And he stole it from me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah, it used to have it a thousand times, and I really toned it down. But anyway, I do that bit occasionally, and it, it's just like a win over the crowd kind of bit. And I did that bit in a fucking sports bar in North Hollywood, and it destroyed. There's a part of the bit where I ask the audience member to say, say, it's chink. I ask him to say it, mm -hmm. and nobody ever does because, you know, they're normal people. Say it. 
Exactly. Because yeah. you're normal. That guy went, you fucking chink. <laughs> he, put some, he put some spaghetti on that shit, dude. He put a little mustard on <laughs> yeah, that. Sea bomb. That's insane. I was dude. like, dude, that guy was waiting for the opportunity. Like, I think he saw sh- that joke one time before and then followed me to a second <laughs> location. He's your biggest fan. Like, you pointed someone he's else gonna next time. He's going to ask me. <laughs> you pointed someone else the next time and he's like, seven hours. Miles over, he's like, yeah. it's <laughs> not the farthest thing from reality because he he did dress like he was like cosplaying a white person too. He had like a <laughs> he had a Bass Pro Pro Shop hat and and fucking like a dark green khaki like fucking vest. Yeah, dressed like Josh Noble. It was, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like Josh Noble. Yeah, uh, it was a white you, guy looked like Josh Noble. Yeah, <laughs> it's Josh Noble. It's Josh Noble. I, uh, Josh Noble called me a chink. You heard it here first. <laughs> he called you. Oh, I almost said it. Uh, that, was, <laughs> that was close. Uh, he called you it, or he, no, no, I, no. I missed that part. I'm sorry. Oh, oh yeah. no, this is hilarious. No, I, I heard the Vegas part that you asked the audience to say it, and then somebody actually did, and you're offended that they did what you asked them to do. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't offended. I thought it was fucking rad, dude. I'm sure they're good... participating in the bit. Yeah. Here's, here's another little tidbit. Before that, I was bombing, and after that, I crushed the entire time. <laughs> the crowd was like, "We got to make it up to him." Yeah, exactly, dude. I got by on goodwill. You get it, dude. <laughs> it is a, did, wait. So you just asked him to say the word, and he did he actually say you? Yeah, he said, you <laughs> fucking chink. Really? He looked me in the face and uh, said, but in like, like a I didn't like, say to Dude, he said it like a long lost yeah. friend said, would say it, you know? Yeah. You fucking. <laughs> <laughs> no, he said it with a smile on his face and yeah. light in his eyes. You dude, know? he couldn't wait. Dude, he was edging that through his whole life like an orgasm. Yeah, like, oh, finally. Like, just As, like, the minute someone told him you can't say it, he was like, God. Dude, okay. I've never heard anyone so excited okay. to say chink before. Because really? honestly, that's like the worst of the slurs to say, in my opinion. It's well, at least fun. I think you're a little biased. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, like over here, we th- we think it's honky. <laughs> <laughs> I take yeah. great offense to honky. Yeah, cracker. Not oh my god. Most offensive. I mean, the least judge. Uh, yeah, the know. least sting. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Least, yeah, I don't, I'm halfway going to say it right the now. Least yeah. Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, as someone who said it many times, I uh, yeah, yeah, yeah I don't get I don't get as much out of it as I do the others. Yeah, it's lost its meaning. It's just like it's a fart in the wind. You know what I mean? It's yeah. You know when you say a word too much and then you're just like, what does it even? Just <laughs> uh, it does I will say like it is so powerless that I almost would say it right now I'm not gonna do it but like I'd be like yeah, yeah no one do this. really no um, one gives a shit so no. I, I, uh, you know this time a Shane Gillis moment right now <laughs> Asian Following Americans no, I won't I won't I'm right. um, <laughs> you know this but I've been listening to Lord of the Rings on audiobook uh and and there's it, a lot of c words in it. Too. <laughs> yeah, how are you going to loop it back he, into this he uses conversation? The, like loophole version of it of like a c in, a, in the armor, right? Oh, well, yeah. you can say that. Yeah, you can say chink in the armor. I don't know. Chink <laughs> in the armor. You can say chink wanted, in the armor. You can't. It's a word. It's yeah, not say even. It, say it again. Chink in the armor. All right. Well, I'm going to edit that out. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's when you. That's, that describes like uh, when an Asian guy wears gonna, armor, right? <laughs> right. I'm going to cut out armor and I'm going <laughs> to find you saying cafe or something. <laughs> like, you missed. You missed my fucking joke. That destroyed. Yeah. Really? Uh, oh, about how you, he stole that joke from you? No, I'm saying that oh. chink in the armor. That's the term that describes when an Asian guy wears armor, right? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> That's what, that's what they call Asian Knights. <laughs> he says that. should that. be the title of your movie. Too. <laughs> 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 Fuck the pink jack. Just call it Asian Knights. Uh, <laughs> okay, uh, so he also what? says queer a lot. That's that's the other thing that J.R.R. told really? him. He says a lot. Yeah, but he means it, 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 weird. No, yeah, he means oh, okay. he's constantly weird. like there's queer people around. Like that is uh, the original he, meaning of the yeah. Word. Yes, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm aware. Okay. Yeah. But it's a lot, really. Yeah, we're like if it, if you re- hearing it today, you're like, man, this guy had something out for you know. the queer. <laughs> yeah, the Lord of the Rings was very like thinly veiled racism. You know, people say Enlighten that. Enlighten me, please. Boo. Wait, people, I hate yeah. when people say this, bro. But it is. Medieval fantasy is just like it's. It's always like no. It all me. comes from like uh, you have JR. to be racist when in order to think this. That's like why I so keep going. Yeah, no. yeah. But why you guys are super fans? But yeah, um, he Tolkien has, referenced like African tribes when he made the orcs. That that much is fact. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Well, him and that's make that's the all orcs. they have to go on. But okay. it is, you know, there's a lot of it's race. It's race. It's just fantasy racism, but it's race, you know. But what is Listen, it? here's what I think. I think to think that you have to be like, you know, the monstrous people that like do all the evil. They're like you. You have to. They're, you have to be racist in order to think that. Do you get what I'm saying? You're like, oh, well, that must be like when. Can you imagine seeing Lurts in like an orc and being like. That must be the black people. And you're like, whoa, whoa. Well, no, because Tolkien, that's, Tolkien yeah, literally, that's fucked up, man. he, he read really about up. these tribes and he referenced qualities of these tribes to, you know, like covered in mud and this and that yeah. to make the orcs. That's the only racist thing about it. And that is racist. Uh, well, you said the whole thing was racist. And that's, there, only, no, I said uh, that's a pretty minor veiled, part. There's thinly veiled oh. racism. I mean, it's all fantasy racism. Like the dwarves being mean to the elves. I'm sure the elves were based on some fucking... Real race, you know, it's like yeah. awesome people, probably, yeah, probably yeah. like like the northern <laughs> probably Europeans, like like British, the, you know, no, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, no, like even better than British, dude, like you, like 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 Finnish, you know, up there, that's why I always kind of like <laughs> Norwegian, yeah, they're Nor- the yeah. Norwegian folk, you know, and then the men, they were British. I'm not even kidding. That is if that that is. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. They were British. No, actually, it's really funny when you watch anything with. Uh, like I, I watched an interview with Tolkien where they're asking him about, you know, are you, uh, you know, was this a reference to? This such and such historical uh, event and he's like no I don't know why and he got like really upset like he was very just like adamant that nothing in Lord of the Rings is a reference to anything historical in real life I love that uh, really I, I thought it was, it was like a weird thing to get upset about yeah and it feels uh, defensive yeah it feels defensive yeah <sighs> Like, well, he just wants you to think people that... Come, people like you he, come at him and try to call him racist, and you're going to get defensive when people call you racist a lot, okay? Sam. I'm not racist. <laughs> Chicken the armor is okay to say. It's fine. It's, it's a phrase. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, I got to get out of here, dude. I'm moving back to Tennessee, dude. It's easier. It's easier, dude. Oh, it's easier. It's easier to be a white man. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was. Look at it. Yeah. But harder to be bisexual. So true. I'm not yeah. bisexual. Dude. Okay. Harder to experiment. I don't there you know. Go. Yeah. Okay. Well said. That's exactly what it was. All right. Well, it's only experimenting the first three times, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> what is? Let's it's perpetually bi curious. You know, just forever bi curious. Always. Um, I wonder. Mm, never I don't know. quite. Just gets cravings as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it gets yum yums. <laughs> I have isolated incidences. Okay, that's what I have, and they're getting they're getting <laughs> less. As soon as you make incidences plural, it's, it's not isolated. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I have isolated incidences seven days a week. Also, okay, it's, in, it's incidents, but yeah. Really? Yeah. That's the plural. You have of an incidents? incident. You have multiple incidents. Shit. Yeah. He caught me being dumb on the pod. I don't like that. That's uh, that's forever now. Yeah, that's forever. Yeah. You're I'm dumb sorry. forever. Uh, I'm furious at you for calling Tolkien racist, but that is... I didn't is, say he was racist. I just said it was known that he used that he as said, a reference. He said, I didn't say he was racist. I just said that he wrote a book of thinly veiled racism. Yeah. That's that's where, that's where how you're trying to get out I of think destroying our hero. I think... Here we go. Let's get it. Let's dig in, okay? I think there's... you, it, it, Dude, it, any... <laughs> even... Okay, yes. Let's say he did. and Maybe he did. You're right. Uh, use African tribes too. I also am too. not as passionate about this topic uh, yeah. as we are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not willing to defend my point. Really. <laughs> I just think like it's it's not necessarily racist to uh, uh, for uh, African tribes uh-oh. to to uh oh to, uh-oh. to, oh, god. to um, oh god oh what's he gonna say? Uh, no, just oh, to inspire the orc. Oh, I don't, I don't, yeah. oh, you know, like maybe just like he saw that he's like, oh, I want the orcs to look that way. It was definitely okay. I get the connotations. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, obviously, it looks a certain way. It it, it, it does. I mean, okay, yeah, well, but, I guess a little racism is what needs to make the greatest uh, three stories I've ever seen in my entire life. I do agree with that. I think fantasy <laughs> would not exist without racism. You know? Yeah. Because it's all about conflict between uh, races. Yeah, you are right. You're right. But I love that. Yeah, all I'm not gonna love that. Con- race, race conflict. conflict. I'm obsessed. Yeah. <laughs> I, I am obsessed. With, I am obsessed with race. Yeah, like that is like I am not racist. I am and being right. I am strangely race. obsessed with the topic of race. Like, yeah, just you like don't. I mean, communities. do you do a lot of race material on stage? I try and it bombs uh, because uh, I don't like, think you do a lot. That's... Yeah, I've never seen you do anything besides that one where you talk about beating up those black teenagers. 
That is not what the bit is. It was, uh, he's playing football. It's different. <laughs> I was I was beating them at football, dude. Yeah. We beat them every yeah, single week. It was, he was also a teenager. That sounds like a you know plausible thing that happened. I don't know. Oh, uh, it is, dude. We would every single week. Me and a bunch of white boys would strap up and beat a bunch of black kids forty to zero yeah. in football. You know, dude. TN won't get this reference, but uh, Sam's team was actually the team that they play in the championship. And remember the Titans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The coach that tosses him the banana. Oh my god, dude! Yeah, yeah, we lost to TC Williams. It was a rough year. <laughs> yeah, dude. They cheated. They integrated. They cheated. <laughs> Not supposed to do that. They're gangers. There are clear lines. They cheated, they integrated, they cheated. They cheated, dude. <laughs> that is not allowed. Okay? We've been playing the same way for 50 years, and now we're just going to switch it up? It's ridiculous. Boycott T.C. Williams. <laughs> Boycott the school. That's a line in the, that's a line in the movie. I love that movie so oh, much, dude. Shit. You know how you're that saying, like, movie. Ryan Gosling's shit because he does the same thing? Yeah. I, a lot of, I understand what you're saying. But a lot of like fantastic actors. Denzel Washington does that. He plays Denzel yeah. Washington in every movie he's in, and I fucking love him in every movie. I also movie don't happen to like Denzel Washington. Really? Yeah. What? So you like the transformative, like, do you like like Joaquin Phoenix? You know who like I've Daniel recently Day Lewis? become a huge fan? Daniel Day Lewis, sure, but he's kind of like a snotty, uh, like, pretentious guy, and I don't particularly like that. I like yeah. Daniel Craig. Because he does the big budget stuff, and then he'll do the really interesting little indie I, stuff. That was a good one, because I do fucking love Daniel Craig. I like Daniel yeah. Craig, too. You He's know, the he best also, Bond by far, I think. Yeah, I'll buy a million. 100%, dude. Buy a dude. million, dude. Adoria will fight you, because she's so horny for Pierce Brosnan, but Daniel Craig, oh, a gosh. million... Oh, but dude. also like uh, the Bond movies are so cheesy. Then yeah, you watch like Pierce Brosnan yeah. Bond. It's so <laughs> His ass dumb. Is sticking out. Yes, yeah. bang. So like, it's like <laughs> my. I always feel bad. My my roommate who has like excellent views on movies and like I, I really respect his opinion. Yeah, I've never fought him on that, but he's like Brosnan's the goat. I'm like, what are you? Okay, that's so dumb. Brosnan. I, I think mean, he shows that Connery I, at least. Yeah, like, like what do you? It is. It is Craig though because yeah, he's Craig. badass and he's suave. Like he is truly badass. Yeah, and he is truly suave. Also, also, Daniel Craig's cool because he showed his very normal, kind of smallish penis in a movie and, like, didn't care. It's awesome. He like, did? Yeah, in the 90s. You just Google image it, dude. He just has, like, yeah, a very... Can you pull that up, please? Can like you a penis... This is the first time we talked about penises. Yeah, good so for far. us, dude. Yeah. Good for us. You know who else has a really shockingly small penis is the... Who's the guy who plays Bane? Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. Yeah, in and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, Bronson. Bronson, yeah. yes. Well, it's just this. This is what's cool about it, though, is he's, like... It's not that he has, like, a super small penis. It's just, like... Yeah, he it's didn't fluff small. at all, and it is kind of small. It's uncircumcised, it's, it's, and he didn't fluff soft, at all, it's, it's and small. it just like it shrunk up. And you think it's like, a real? You think it's his real penis? Oh, it's hundred percent. It's not a prop. Cop? They wouldn't get a prop small dick. What are you bring it over here. It's Daniel Craig. It's dick. Well, that kind of looks nice, uh, but uh, that, <laughs> you think that's his real dick? Yeah, absolutely. That's Daniel Craig. No, it's good. It does a like, good set of nuts put, on him. I will say that. There's another one where this movie that was in the '90s, and he's like thin and young, and his huh, and his dick is um, his dick is unimpressive. And that, that's, I'm not saying case, that's super man. impressive. That is like it looks. I nice. think that's average. It like, looks fine. Like, that looks fine. Like, Tom Hardy's dick is. Yeah, can you pull up Tom Hardy now? Yeah, it's very small. I'm looking for one I can relate to. There you go. Bang. Look at this just like unflattering pic of a man's penis. Oy. I'd be like, ooh, no, why? No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it yeah, looks that's... like red and inflamed. It looks like a dog's dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Michael's looking at all these and like, how do I react to make it seem like I think that's small? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, my problem isn't the size; it's the like weird coloration. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, he's got a hog. As long as we're talking about British actors, is a uh, Michael Fassbender is a freaking pipe. Really? Uh, there's a part in a movie where literally it's like he asked he was like hey in this movie can I show off my enormous penis like it was like <laughs> like there's no plot based reason dude. for it to be out well he's playing it. he's a sex addict in the movie so it does make sense oh, is but it like, an infomaniac <laughs> no that movie rocked though no 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 that's, that's different that's different it was it was called something like desire or like <laughs> I don't even know but that's he goes, a there's a scene picture oh yeah it's it's crazy you, guys think, you think it's his real cock it's a, yeah. it's a hundred percent his real cock you think he would request a small cock? <laughs> you know, it's my I, I think it'd be like an artistic choice, you know? Like, no, dude, that's it, that's. It, it's it's very. Think about how hard. Yeah, it's hard to make a small a cock smaller. Yeah, prosthetically. Exactly. You can well, put dude, it. You'd on, have to mash your big hog into a little little hog. Why would they spend the time you doing pull that? Pull it back like a trans woman. Why? Well, would, but the question is not Tom how. Kit. It's Keep why going. would they do that? 
Because they would be like, oh, it looks egocentric if I make my cock too big on screen. So if I make it this yeah, sort of like... What's his just, cock? That is okay. his cock. That's the easy That's explanation. Yeah. Like I, I, I just, I know I don't it's know his why cock. you're so like, a, you're not even open to the discussion. <laughs> no, because it kind of rules that he's cool with yeah, that. Yeah, it's you sick. Know? Yeah. And I'm, my cock looks like that sometimes. I'm just saying it could be, it could be even looks smaller. Like that. Yeah, sometimes your not cock Not like looks, that, dude. If you saw my penis right now, I'd have to murder you because you could never. <laughs> he's got like an elephant trunk dick. It's Never like that. The, the but, shape of it's a little. Yeah, it is, yeah. It, is, it is funny shape, but sometimes I'm rocking like. I mean, I'm uncircumcised, but it's never. It doesn't look like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mine's way smaller than that. Soft. Yeah, circumcised. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, not uncircumcised. No. It's a small, soft penis. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you don't be sorry. Like it's a, you reveal that to it's me. It's the truth. He's a, he's a grower. He's a. He yeah. Has a uh, yeah, that's normal. I think this, most people are. But see, that's why when I see that, I'm like, when I see any cock in a movie, I'm like, you're telling me none of these actors are growers. They're all just whatever we see. Well, they yeah. get flushed. That's what you think? Oh, exactly. That's what I'm saying. I think that he probably has a fine erect penis. Do you know what I mean? Like okay. a good, like, oh, yeah. like a six or above. Sorry, you know? I gotta stick up for the growers. <laughs> that's here. what I'm saying. Though. That's why I like that because that's what I'm trying to say. I look like that sometimes. Absolutely. Also, that's my. I'm trying to look exactly like that body wise. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Really? Yeah, for real. That, that's my ideal body. I think I, I can like achieve that. Beefcake. That. Look yeah, too. beefcake. But yeah. like, I'm a little like I've been that before. I've been like when I was. He was 190 pounds in that. I right. looked like that when I was bodybuilding, sort of. Maybe a little bit. Really? Body yeah. built? Yeah, yeah. When? In, in college. Do you have pictures of this? Uh, oh, please be unimpressive. <laughs> no, it's not like crazy. <laughs> I told you I topped out at 250. Bench press. Yeah, but still, that is, you can definitely like. Yeah, but there's well, a lot, lot of people can't do 250. Weak bodybuilders. Yeah, uh, I'm is not, that your like, phone? No. Oh, okay. But so, I was like, so I was you like, just I was conveniently like two... lost your phone right now? No, I mean, again, it wasn't, like, impressive. It was just, like, something I did as a well, hobby. You were, like, built. Yeah, I was, like, big. I was, like, 240, probably, like... Keeps couching this in a bunch of qualifiers. I'm, abs? Yeah. We're, no abs. I just said I look like that. Well, that's not bodybuilding. You no, get, I meant, like, working out a lot. You, you lifted know? weights. And, oh. like, doing, like, <laughs> clean and jerks and shit like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. You, have, you just don't know what, what body, are you? You just are don't know you what bodybuilding gatekeeping is. Bodybuilding? <laughs> what? Are you gatekeeping? The guy with the Dr. Pepper shirt is gatekeeping <laughs> bodybuilding. Abs- absolutely. 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 <laughs> absolutely I am. Okay, I, I know what a bodybuilder looks like, and I know what they do, and that's just not, yeah, that's not it. Yeah, okay. Actually, uh, this is kind of funny. I saw two, uh, I saw two like bodybuilder types at the gym the other day. Nice. Um, just, you know, absolute live action Johnny Bravos, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And they were both... Uh, doing like machine exercises while wearing aviators. No, they were not. I, I, I swear to God, 100 percent indoors with aviators, dude, and uh, and with headphones in. And I'm like, whatever music they're blasting with the aviators, like they are living in a fucking movie. Yeah, dude, and it's they, just it, a soundtrack to Top yeah. Gun. It's yeah, just, yeah. it's just, and I hate it. I hate it, but like, I bet they're having a blast. Yeah, dude, <laughs> <laughs> they are having a blast. That is one thing I've realized when people are are like so not self aware that it's ridiculous. I'm like, that's it's like a superpower. Do you know what I mean? Oh, like, if yeah. you just are a hard dork or just like a ridiculous douchebag like that yeah it's kind of like yeah i don't y'all aren't hurting my like, feelings at all do you yeah. know what i mean because like if i'm seen at all like in a negative light i'm like ah! like it just like I, yeah, yeah. yeah. kind of rules it shows yeah. a lot of self-actualization yeah, when you can do like, that. Yeah, well, it's on it, well it's just being too dumb to know better and that right? is the best way to live <laughs> dude. exactly it's dude. like i had a kid i played high, uh football with who uh our senior year he uh for like half the season he kept fumbling the ball on like he was our kickoff returner and he mm-hmm. kept fumbling the ball. We were like, hold on to the fucking ball, Ryan. And <laughs> halfway through the season, he found out that he had a broken wrist, <laughs> <laughs> but he was just like too dumb to, Wait, what? <laughs> like, <laughs> was, that would hurt so bad. I know, but he was too dumb to know that was not normal. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like, he no was way, just, dude. his wrist was swollen up and he was like, oh, it's fine. This is weird. hundred percent. He was just like, God, it hurts, but like, I'm going to, you know, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> And then, yeah, he had a broken wrist. Yeah. And then he got a little cast and held it with the other arm and he stopped fumbling. (laughs) So what if my wrist hurts? My leg also hurts. Yeah, it's because you have a broken leg too, dude. (laughs) You'll wake up and piss blood every day, right? We're all just playing football. We're having fun. (laughs) Take a shot to the kidneys. You start pissing blood. (laughs) That's bananas, dude. No, that same guy, actually, there was a... Uh, there was in an English class one time somebody dropped a news item about like there was a 
there was a, like a there was a terrorist attack where a suicide bomber you know uh, did what suicide bombers do, and uh, his response after the teacher go to heaven and get, re- inherit their seventy two versions is that what you're saying exactly there you go that's what they do yeah that's what they all get uh, and after the teacher like told this to the class he raised his hand and sincerely asked uh, did they catch him. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they caught him a few times. So yeah. <laughs> 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 People caught him in chunks. They had a big pan. That was <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> big laugh. We got a big laugh. Oh, you want to stop? I don't, okay. I don't know. Cal showed us the 120. Every, every time. Wh- why is. You guys haven't given me a single question. He doesn't matter. Don't look at. We're bitten, dude. When, We're just on here bitten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. When, I'm down when did to you stop first whatever. Um, come into yourself sexually? Did you do, do you remember the first time you masturbated? It's <laughs> a really fun question. First time I masturbated. <laughs> How did you learn? Who taught you? I I don't know when <laughs> it was. Taught you? <laughs> <laughs> I was taught. Dude, I was I had like a morbid curiosity in my penis when I was very very young. Morbid? <laughs> yeah, because when I was born, my the my force like I was unsuccessfully circumcised. What? Yeah, do like, you have a fucked up dick. No, I don't have, Do you have a like fucked a up dick. Dickie? I did have, I did oh have, God, I I did have a fucked this. up dick because when I was born, uh, my foreskin was fused to the tip of my dick. So the 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 doctors are like trying to they're trying to circumcise me and they're like we we can't this is so crazy we can't wow. even do it so they're like it's probably gonna work itself out and so my mom took their word for it and I, I'm six now six years later I'm six and it's like still the same. Wait, so uh, they just gave up on the circumcision halfway through. Yeah, I'm not circumcised. They just, no, they like, the doctor saw it, and my uh-huh. parents were trying to get me circumcised, because I don't know, Chinese people think that it's cleaner or something. Uh-huh. I mean, it is, but yeah. Yeah, American sure. And it looks like better. That. Yeah. Sure, but, okay. <laughs> good, good for you. <laughs> uh, I thought that was going to kill with Sam. I'm sorry. I, just, <laughs> I thought he'd love that. <laughs> I guess I don't laugh at the blatant truth. Do you know what I mean? There was no comedic <laughs> band. It was like, yep, yep. <laughs> anyway... Uh, so I'm six now, and I my mom takes me to go see a specialist, and he's this like old Iranian guy. Uh-huh. And I I hated him because first of all he like he, he like he's a I, specialist in dicks in like penises <laughs> in like I'm pretty sure pediatric penises. Holy yeah, shit. dude! How do you announce that in college? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, how do you ever how do you co- go to your you? advisor and and they say what are you passionate about? <laughs> 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 what would you feel good spending a lifetime uh, doing? Children's penises. That is insane, I think trying, dude. I mean, the only way you get into someone's chil- got to do it. Do you know what I mean? Someone has to do it. Dude, yeah. The people who are doing children's penises are the guys who couldn't hack it in the adult penis world. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't make it. Oh my! Anyway, God. this guy, I hated him. <laughs> Couldn't the, hack it. You Sorry, couldn't hack it. <laughs> <laughs> We're sending you to children's penises. <laughs> you just don't have the stuff. We're sorry. Yeah. But a kid named Tian Chin is a real <laughs> fucked up dick you need to worry about. <laughs> what was your original question? No, no, no. Well, I, I know what you're getting going. to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please it doesn't keep matter. Going. <laughs> so he, he looks at my dick and he is like, you got a little <laughs> problem. I remember him saying this. <laughs> he looked at your dick and he was like, I, I yeah, that's this fucked guy. up. Man. I hated <laughs> that this guy. That is fucked up. Yeah. I hated this guy right off the bat. And also he like, he looked at my dick and I think he said like, like fascinating or like amazing or something like that. <laughs> Did he rub his chin? Yeah, he he said like something like and he had an accent. He was like fascinating, and then he, it was like it was, it was like he discovered it was like it was like it was like discovering like a new species of fish or something. <laughs> I was so stoked to meet you! Like he's like this gonna... kind of dick is gonna be named after me. <laughs> <laughs> No, he was pretty stoked. He was pretty stoked. Yeah, it's and, gonna be and, called a Stevenson dick. That's <laughs> and so my mom was like, "Okay, is it gonna be fine?" Because the other doctor said it's probably gonna work itself out. And he was like, "No, if you don't get it fixed, it's gonna become permanent. It's per- it's probably already permanent." Wow. So and he's saying this to you, like you're in the room and you're hearing. Yeah, him saying yeah, this. yeah. And I, I, I like obviously I don't know the gravity of the situation. I've never seen another penis, so mm. I don't know that that's fucked up. Uh-huh. And he told my parents that um, the only thing that we could do right now, because surgery is out of the option, because the skin is like so close to the the member, is mm. what he called it. The only thing that we could do is that they could take me, uh, not take me. They they put me in a hot bath every night, uh, and they rinse my dick under hot water. And they peel. 
Like a banana. Dude. Like a banana. Your parents peeled your dick for you? Yeah. For <laughs> eight months, this happened. Oh, best eight months and of you my could just, life. Dude, my, <laughs> Take me back, take me back. Oh, oh man. What I want to give to live those glorious it eight months. Have, dude, it was the worst eight months of, of my dad's was. life. Of my oh. dad's life. I think he probably aged like 15 years in those eight months, man. Your dad's like before and after pictures like he was president. Yeah, dude. Was like a long, dude, the fact that you haven't grown up to be a monstrous fetishist is yeah. mind-blowing. Well, I mean, Nobody he said might that. Be, but first of all. Yeah. Nobody yeah, he, said that. Yeah, nobody ruled that out. We talked about it in the car. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Anyway, eventually, <laughs> apparently we're eventually, not talking about it also, on the pod. That's, also, also, yeah. uh, we would always do this after dinner. It was like a weird, like after dinner. And like, my mom was full belly. <laughs> it was like an after dinner. It was activity. dessert. It was is what the they called it. Actually, we never had dinner as a family until then. Yeah. Until we started peeling as a family, we would gather oh the, at the dinner table and nobody would talk. And my dad would just be like so stressed <laughs> across the table. He can't even enjoy his food. He's <laughs> just like, well, I mean, I guess you can't really eat like after you do that. So yeah. we wanted to get our food in, and then yeah. they would take me upstairs and do it. And then after eight months, it finally one day it, it looked like. There was no progress being made, yeah. And then one day it just popped clean off, and like, and we all celebrated. Wait, so <laughs> when they took me to McDonald's, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> See, I can't tell you how much I really need. To, I need to understand. <laughs> like, I, I don't understand how any of this worked. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, they were. Wait, what do you? What were understand? they peeling off? The foreskin. They weren't peeling anything yeah. off. They were peeling it down, and I didn't oh, understand. Just re- like retracting it back kind of it was attached so like uh, this is what uh, is it like it wouldn't pull back so the head of your penis could expose yeah and it's glued to your skull yeah they're just glued to your skull okay yeah okay and you're just like trying to get yeah okay Uh, okay there was it it gave way after eight months and it gave (laughs) all the way away (laughs) wow without ever making any progress for about oh the did it feel good like it's real. I mean, it was like, did, oh wait, my god! Like, did it hurt? It felt good to not have my parents do that to me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the greatest gift you can give a child: is stop plucking their stop dick, stop peeling their stop dick, molesting me every night. <laughs> no, uh, let's don't say that word, okay? <laughs> don't make this something you know, that's not. This is probably all just a lie your father told you. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing ever wrong with it. <laughs> Son, it's, just, it's very necessary. It's an eight, and it's, it's an fine eight. if you ejaculate. That's part of it. I am. I mean, <laughs> oh my God. that was an eight month uh, mistake. All right. Oh, <laughs> it won't I think I would have preferred to be molested because then. <laughs> People would bro. understand me. Bro, bro, bro. Like, how do you explain like, this? There's you no support work. group for people like me, all right? There's nobody helping people like me, all right? Yeah. You were medically molested. <laughs> by you both were, parents, dude. You were it was molested a fa- by doctor's orders. <laughs> it was a family activity yeah, that we did Sometimes your mom would be out night. of town and your aunt would come. <laughs> I mean, I don't think you guys are fully grasping the... Gra- like, oh, think we're about, grasping it. No, all right? The way about, your mom grasped no, no, it. No, no. Like, think we're about how, pain, how painful that shit was, too. Yeah. Like, oh, your really? dick at the most sensitive it's ever been. But just trying yeah. to, like, yank it back? Yeah, like, dude. Ugh. Imagine the, uh, a, a, a cop walking in and just be like, we heard children screaming, I think, and then the parents trying to explain, no, the doctor told us. It's for his own to, good? Yeah. <laughs> We're making it look nice for future ladies. Like, the, the, the funniest part about the whole thing is that my dad would keep tapping out. Like, halfway through. <laughs> can't do this. He's like, yeah, I can't do it. I can't keep touching it. He'd go out for a cigarette break like three times during the whole thing. Is and that it why you like, smoke? <laughs> Just, I mean, 100% that's why I smoke. Yeah. <laughs> Just bring his stinky sig hands back to touch your dick. Aww. And then, okay, here's another thing um, that is mortifying is that uh, the doctor, <laughs> I lived in Toronto at the time. The doctor was in Minnesota, 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 which is like four hours away, right? Uh-huh. So we couldn't go back and forth to keep communicating with the doctor. So my mom would uh, take pictures and... Uh, <laughs> And uh, I'm now pretty it's, sure now it's child porn. Now it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's so bad. It's hold on, so hold on. Bad. Medical record 
when you like go get a no, she would take out. pictures and send it to the doctor, like through like yeah. through email and stuff yeah. like that. Okay, I thought yeah. it might be early, too early, and she was but just she having was to like, mail them had, pictures. She had a, she <laughs> she's had a getting them developed at CVS. Just <laughs> <laughs> she's getting the one hour photo. The, <laughs> the poor sixteen year old <laughs> is developing <laughs> the film and just <laughs> like. Why do I have to keep looking at it? <laughs> yeah. Should I call someone? Was she what? Sorry. I think all I'm saying right now is that my parents were really good parents. Yeah. I think yeah. that's all I'm really saying. That's how saying. you interpret this story. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I no, have I, to I think interpret it. I think you're absolutely right. They're heroes. Yeah. Um, but they're also... it's. I think you were the, the victim heroes, of they had three to do a terrible pedophiles, thing. dude. That yeah. doctor and the, your parents were in cahoots, dude. <laughs> that man was hired. They're like, tell my son I have to tuck his pants. <laughs> tell him if I don't do it, it'll be weird. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I think no, okay. honestly your parents are very. That is, it's a labor of love to rip your son's penis over him. Oh, like that is insane. That yeah. does sound so painful. Mm -hmm. My God. Yeah, my mom would like light candles to make it more cozy. No, she would not. Yeah. Why? Cozy or romantic? Or sensual. Which, yeah. yeah. What the hell? What, you they are play, they play, deeper, man. Dude, they play some R and B. They no, give me a little like, wine. Yeah. Actually, it was like, it was like birthday cake candles too. <laughs> <laughs> like the little the little birthday cake candles. I remember so vividly, dude. This might be the the most vivid memory of my life. Dude, is that? Dude, just, yeah. yeah. yeah Ace Ventura. Sorry, they'd watch birth. that and then they'd wash it down with Ace Ventura Pet Detective. <laughs> Wait, just I watch birthday <laughs> candles. Yeah, yeah. Like it, to make it like fun. It's. Fun. I think okay. I think what was happening He's is like, that man, I am aging rapidly. What is <laughs> there wasn't why there do wasn't I get jerked enough off light every birthday. This there is... wasn't enough light in the in the in the bathroom. Room, so okay. I think that is also part of the reason. Okay. But it did feel odd. Yep. Felt like it was it makes it <laughs> yeah. it makes it like ceremonious. Yeah, now. it was like, it was yeah. like, yeah. like sacrifice the candles and disrupt boy. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Or just like an we anniversary. Was, you know, yeah. like that's were there rose petals? Was there a path of rose, rose petals <laughs> leading to the bathroom when you got home from school? Just No. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. Can you imagine me like uh, can Tian come over tonight? No. <laughs> we have to do our thing that we do. <laughs> we have to have our special time. Your, your parents send you to a sleepover, and they're like, "So there's something you're gonna have to do around 9:30." Uh, <laughs> oh my god! You're gonna have to masturbate, my boy. <laughs> I mean, straight. all this started because oh, yeah. we were talking about jerking off, and this is leading into that. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, which is? is that immediately after I started jerking off. As really? a sexual boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well you were I probably never, like, because the been, first night you didn't need to, you were like, why isn't anybody tugging on my dick? Yeah, true. Like, true, it's true. true. It, 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 eight months no, of I think, every night. Like, you're just like that. Oh, eight months I think what, 20. no, because during those eight months, and fuck you, first of all, during those eight months, <laughs> it's it was, it was, it was, uh, your dick was the most frightening thing in the world. Like, touching okay. it felt like, yeah, like f scary, you know, because yeah. I thought this was like a huge medical emergency and then it fixed itself and it was fine. And then uh, I had a friend who started jerking off around that time. Uh huh. And I was like s seven. He wasn't really jerking off so much as like pressing. Yeah. Pressing yeah. it and like I don't know, like not ejaculating. Just not like, ejac uh -huh. I, I had no idea how to do it either, but I would do it like with like two fingers. Yep. Just like like go like this on it, uh -huh. and I always had a pe like a piece of toilet paper because he he told me that you should have a piece of toilet paper because I think he said like milk starts coming out of your dick because it's like that it's that it's that clear pre cum yeah it's like pre cum, pre -cum. but it's like very clear and watery yes yeah more like a coconut water yeah like a <laughs> coconut water exactly. <laughs> That's precisely right. Yeah, that's really well said. <laughs> yeah. Michael's really Michael's really versed on prepubescent cum. Uh, <laughs> good lord. <laughs> I that right now. Okay, that's not, that's not something I had in my back pocket. <laughs> uh, no, I remember that. I, I remembered that move. I tell her I remember that move. Yeah, that's the move. I remember that move. And then I remember Dude. my dick grew, and I was like, "What am I doing?" <laughs> I was like, "This is feels insane." And then I switched to the hand. What I noticed recently <laughs> is that is that is that like you don't like because. I didn't really talk to my friends like as I got older about sex. Some of the habits I had as a kid carried over until very late into adulthood. Like I used to like get a, like to because I lived in a house where jerking off was not allowed at all. Yeah, you know, it was like very like shameful. So I would like have to do it on the go. So I'd have to find places. There was no locks on any doors on the go. Yeah, like I would just have to like go to a place where I don't think my parents are gonna go because they could still open the bathroom door. And so you're, right. you're playing high stakes hide and seek. Exactly. So I would <laughs> yeah. always jerk off with my dick wrapped in toilet paper. 
That's I've, how I've done I, that before. Yeah, I've, I yeah. always did it. I thought that's how everybody did it until like when I was like 18. Did you ever do wow. the move where you take a a condom and uh, empty toilet paper roll and then line the inside with toilet paper and then use it like a flashlight? I wasn't doing arts and crafts, dude. Oh, yeah, well, you know. <laughs> How did that <laughs> develop enough like pleasure for you to ejaculate? I don't know if it did. I, I, I don't remember. <laughs> I just remember doing that. I don't remember. Is it kind of a moot point? I don't remember being successful. <laughs> I, just, I just remember that part. I, I, but, in the yeah. pandemic, I thought I was going to relate with Tian. I, I, was trying, <laughs> I was trying to find common ground and bond and then he was like, no, you're weird. Uh, uh, the guy who got jerked clean, off by his parents for eight months <laughs> told me I'm a weirdo. You know? <laughs> I made a, f- uh, a homemade flashlight during the pandemic using... Um, did you Google how to do that? You goddamn right. Yeah, I did that too at a much younger age. Oh, okay. This was yeah. the first pandemic when we were in middle school. Uh, <laughs> this, is, this was smallpox. Yeah, this, is <laughs> yeah. this is polio. Yeah. This is during the swine flu, yeah. dude. No, yeah. It, you flu. use um, sponges and you use a uh, towel and you use a uh, plastic, like a, a rubber glove and obviously uh, a lubricant of your choice. Uh, and uh, it does work. <laughs> it does work. Does it? Yeah, okay. it does work. Yeah. Yep. And I did that. Uh, Tian, I don't <laughs> think you finished your story. <laughs> you what, what else do you want to know? I'm an open I think, book. Yeah, that was the first time he like... He did finish it? Oh, yeah, okay. that's how he would he would come coconut milk as you a did, six-year-old boy. Yeah. Oh, okay, so the end of that is just that the very next day you started masturbating. Not the very next day, but it was around it was around that time, you know, when I was like seven. Yeah, I started like, like a, touching it. I started touching it. And I started getting like, like, like tiny little boners that would not go away when I was like eight or nine, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And I, when did that... Uh, when did you decide I want to be a comedian? Mm. At the same time? No. No? I didn't even know a comedian was a job back then. What did you think Ace Ventura was doing? What did you think Jim Carrey yeah. was doing? Oh, I knew what his actor was. Real. was. Yeah. I yeah. just didn't know what a stand-up was. Yeah. You know? oh, okay. I watched my first stand-up when I was like in... Uh, Sorry, can I just uh, get some credit for deftly maneuvering us away from Teen Stick? I just... <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> you're the one who called back to it in the first place. Okay. I those guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but what was make. your first exposure to to stand, stand up? up? Uh, yeah, I was I was in like middle school, and um, I think the first stand up special I ever saw was Delirious by Eddie Murphy, and I was going through a little bit of a problem at school where I thought my laugh was girly, and <laughs> so I Can went you imitate home. It? What? The, what? What it Did was? You change it, your my, laugh? my laugh is what it is now. You know, very okay. ugly. Uh, okay. But you know how I go, <laughs> that part? Yeah. I copied that from Eddie Murphy. I would go <laughs> home and I would practice his laugh. <laughs> what? Yeah. Really? Because there was one kid. One kid just said, like, your your laugh is gay. And when I was in middle Kiss school, that was like a death sentence. You yeah, know? Like, yeah, yeah. Nobody knew what gay was, but it was bad. Yeah. Yes. Still is in my book. <laughs> and then you I find gave out. you the space to say that. Did you feel that? I gave you the space. I knew it was coming, and I gave it to you. You find out what it is. You're like, it's even worse than I imagined. <laughs> it's this. Oh God. Yeah, I just, I just thought I meant I'm you try that like five so times. Much more, dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I was ashamed of my life, and then I was like, oh, Eddie Murphy. No one calls Eddie Murphy gay. He's calling other people gay. Yeah. <laughs> so I just went home and I practiced his life, and I like. Still kind of laugh like that to this day. That's hilarious. Fuck yeah, that's awesome, dude. Did that like iron it out with that kid? Was he like, ah, you're straight? No, no. <laughs> a thousand percent no, dude. Yeah, it was no just, way. It just uh, now I just I was gay with a weird laugh. That's, that's it. <laughs> That's fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. And so Eddie Murphy was your first like stand up you were exposed to, and oh yeah, dude, I watched Eddie Murphy and like he talks about Richard Pryor on that special. And I went and watched live on the Sunset Strip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hated it. Could yeah. not understand it. It's not very good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but I was like fascinated with the art form. And then like a lot of years go by, I get into my idea. I had a uh, my 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 dad had a friend who I, who he was in business with, um, and then his friend eventually bailed on him, but. Uh, I later came to find out that he did like amateur porn. Like that's how he made his money. Your dad? No, my my oh. my dad's friend. He was like a Peruvian man, and he used to do like amateur. Starden. What do you mean? Like he was the star of it? No, he would direct it. Oh, he would make wow. Like a, it was called. Uh, I forget yeah, what the. I, I forget what the fucking. <laughs> Not tour. Ex- 
Gonzo <laughs> is, I think, is what, what it was called. Gonzo pornography. I've seen that term a million I times. I don't know what it means. Yeah. It's like a category where it's like very low production value, and I think it's got something to do with Latin America or something like that. Uh-huh. So he made a bunch of money doing that. He's a very rich guy. And uh, he... You get rich doing that? Yeah. Whoa. Dude. dude back, porn? Well, like, that, doing <laughs> crappy porn? Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, yeah, like, dude. Even more. I mean, the profit margins are ridiculous. Yeah, true, there true. wasn't any like, high production value places yeah, back yeah. then. But he exposed me to like actual movies. He was like a real like a film buff. He had like a theater room in his house. Not porn. He showed you Not real porn. Movies. Okay. Not everybody was molesting me. Okay. <laughs> 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 he was uh, whenever your dad couldn't come, he would come over and do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he subbed in happily. Anyway, yeah. he, he your foreskin he, is Gonzo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he he showed me, yeah, Pulp Fiction. So like in high school, I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna oh, do sick. that. I want to yeah. be like that, you know. I want to be like a filmmaker. Uh-huh. And then I got into college, and then I did that, and I was just found it like wildly unsatisfying to work on productions. You yeah, know? it's rough. It's yeah. It's like after like after I got out of college, I just worked as a PA for like damn near a year, and uh, it was like such disillusionment. Yeah. You know, they don't care what you think about the. You're not even human. Yeah, yeah. You, you, none of your film knowledge applies, but yeah. you're just like a human like stroller for like yeah. items. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's fucking horseshit, and uh, and so. I stopped doing that. I started doing like design and, and storyboarding for short films and stuff like that. That helped me get my job in San Francisco where I was working as a marketing manager. A lot of that, that I became super unsatis- unsatisfied with that. And then You lived up there? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, I hate San Francisco, though. It's a oh, horrible okay. city. Gonna say, yeah, I've only heard it. bad things. Yeah. <laughs> I really like San Francisco. To really? visit, it's awesome. Yeah. To live in, it's dog shit. Yeah. It's, it's crazy expensive. Oh, sure. yeah. and, and there's like... I mean, there's way more homeless people in San Francisco than here. I've just kind of grown with like a healthy disdain for it. Like growing up in Tennessee, it's like, don't go there. That, <laughs> yeah. that is a bad liberal place. I think we dislike they, it for a different reason. Where they yeah. do witch stuff. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah that's Which just, is exactly yeah. the kind of stuff you've been experimenting with for so long now. So yeah. like, don't. Yes, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you, you might love it there. Uh, maybe, maybe. So you, you were in San Francisco and you're like, uh, fuck this like design work. No, I got fired. Oh, I would have kept riding that money train forever if it would let me. But <laughs> no, I got okay. you said you were disillusioned and stuff. I thought I was you... disillusioned, but I okay. was also making a lot of money. Oh, know? okay. And I don't have that much integrity, and I was <laughs> willing to give up. And it was so serendipitous because I got fired, and then COVID like really hit San Francisco on like three days after I left, mm-hmm. and they shut down all the airports. So I couldn't even leave had I just waited three days or been fired three days later. Oh wow! I came back. It's almost. I mean, it's a you know six-hour drive, but yeah, couldn't, yeah, couldn't sure. leave. Yeah, yeah, but like <laughs> to fly back. I mean, yeah. I came back and then like I was looking for a job for a week. I found a job, and the first day I was supposed to start on my job, the pandemic started. You know, like they shut everything down, and then over the pandemic, I just got like I start. I was like, dude, if if you're never gonna, you're, if you're not gonna do stand up now, you're never gonna do it. You know, so, so it's been thought. itching at you. Yeah, yeah, it was it always itched at me. I always thought I could do it. Yeah. I, I did one open mic in 2018. Potluck was my first one. Whoa. Ever. Whoa, did it go I, well I've heard all? this story before. It's, yeah. it's hilarious. Have you? No, I've never heard this I've, story. It was, dude, I got up the first time I've ever, I've ever went. It's the comedy store's open mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Potluck Which, is like, the, hundreds of comedians try to get into every yeah. week. It was not like that back then it was really? like it was like yeah it was like a lot of people like maybe 40 people but oh, the wow. crowd wasn't like a hundred people it was like no i mean comedians trying to get spots oh yeah yeah it's still tons of people trying to get spots yeah. but i go it was my first open mic i put my name uh i forgot if it was a bucket or a li- i forgot how they did it but you you enter your name somehow and they picked my name and the guy who was hosting was like yeah we picked you because you had a funny name <laughs> He has a, a funny name. I, I, I'm pretty sure he it might was, as well have been like <laughs> Ching Chong. What are, yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, good lord, I, Jesus. I'm pretty sure it was really. Yeah. All right, we'll bleep that out. Fucking you guys are making me edit shit. That's, <laughs> <laughs> and I go up on stage and I and I'm like, hi, I'm you know first time doing comedy, and the entire place boos me. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, boos they, me and then I, I they boo me for so long that I couldn't even get through my set and then, <laughs> yeah it's a three minute set yeah 
<laughs> but they booed, they booed him for, for a good two for and a like, half. <laughs> for like a good like thirty seconds, they booed me. Damn. Wow. And I had time. I was so prepared. I had timed myself. My jokes were dog shit, but I had timed myself, and I knew like. You know, like leave room for laughter. I looked yeah. up all of the fucking things. We're gonna go that, up there and press play. Like you had yeah. it ready. Yeah, I had the it ready. The only mistake you made is you wrote down, "This is my first time doing comedy." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I wrote that down. Yeah. I said it because I was like, "I'm gonna get sympathy." No, I did not know that that is the most it's the uh, worst like move. Hostile. Yeah, hostile. But like, I mean, it makes sense. I would do that to a newcomer now. Yeah. It's it happened at the improv. You shouldn't like, though. Huh? You shouldn't though. It, it, they are they're assholes for doing that to you. Yeah, they yeah, are. In I, my in my opinion. Because it, uh, if you look at the history of the comedy store, David Letterman came out here from Indiana in his pickup truck and had never done stand-up. And then he just shows up and does the comedy store potluck and becomes a paid regular. Right. So the history of the comedy store is and right with people to him, who... Are you saying that? Yeah, and if he went up there not, and everybody booed him and he was like, fuck this, I don't want to yeah, do yeah, it. Then then like never... Just because you're at the, oh, because you're at a place that other people want to go up, then, yeah. then fuck you for it being your first time. Like, yeah. that's that's stupid. It's still just an open mic to maybe discover talent. No, you're yeah. right. That you're being right. said, I, I I'm understand. Still I understand the frustration. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, do. Yeah. I do understand why people are upset. <laughs> but you are, you are right. I, you're I, sorry, being reasonable. I don't know. I booed somebody at Westside and that mic doesn't matter at all. You booed someone at West Fuck Side? Fuck you, dude. That's, well, no, that's everybody dead. booed that guy because he was like, he was horrible. No, I have to pee. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, I do too. All right, should, we just, should, uh, should we just end? Yeah, I just, yeah, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm so tired. Dude. Okay, this has got to be our, le- our least climactic ending <laughs> yet. But okay. Uh, Pod is over. Pod's over. Yeah. All right. I must warn you. I am kind of big down there. Are you trying to tell me that my mother has got the hots for me? Precisely. How big is that? I got something coming up. Big. Some kind of big. I don't big. know how to put this, but kind of a big deal. <laughs>